Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I know not many people expect me to be on air right now, but uh, you know, as always, people will send me questions, and I prefer to answer it by video instead of answering by text, which is useless most of the time. So please share the link, invite your friends, and let us share with you today what we received. Uh, one of you, he sent me um, uh, a website, and the website from Washington, sorry, worldreligion.com. World Religion News, okay. And uh, let me show you the website. World Religion News, all right. The title in the article, as we see, True Islam wants separation of mosque and state, not Sharia for all. You know, one of the reasons one of the reasons I don't respect all Western media is their fabrication and dishonesty. When I say when I say Western media, I say I mean it all. I mean all. I mean, I really I don't see any even those who they call them conservative like Fox News. Hey, everybody lie. Hey, everybody lie. It's like lying these days is the way to live. Uh, I am disgusted from the Arabian media, because we never saw anyone telling truth in Arabian media. Everybody is a liar. You listen to Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia present to you the Prince of Qatar as the devil. You listen to Qatar, they present to you the King of Saudi Arabia as the, the devil. All of them, they fabricate stories and they attack each other and they lie about each other and nobody is really there to say the truth. And the Western media is no different. They are just they are doing business. They are perfectly correct. Nobody want to say the truth because nobody can handle the truth. Business, my friend, successful business is not based on saying the truth. It's based on lying. The same as they say about anyone. As an example, if you go to Europe right now, or everybody in Europe understand and believe very much that Trump is a racist man, he's an ugly man, he's full of bigotry, he eat everybody, he hate Arab, he hate Muslims, he hate, he etc. He hate black, he hate the Hispanic, he hate etc. And I witnessed that by my, myself in Europe. You know, when people ask me, what do you think about Trump? I said, he is, he is the, until now, the, the best we have for many years in USA. He's not perfect. You know, I mean, this guy, obviously, he, uh, he was a, he's a very rich man. He was a big boy. He was, he was like Muhammad for a certain time. But he is a lot more uh, decent than all what we have before and he is not against anyone I mean this guy is doing what is right for his country as an example me as an Arab when I go in the airport and they check me very well do I blame them can I blame them for checking me very well can I blame them that when you know when I go or apply for uh, uh, with the army as an example when I join the army they have to check me very well before they accept me do I blame them no why do you want to blame them? They would be stupid if they just, I mean, you need to look at the reasons and then you understand. Uh, but if you look at the media, the media always present to us fictions. Oh, sorry, the mic is far. Hold on, it's my, it's my fault. This is my fault, I apologize. Uh, I apologize for that. All right, is my mic better now? The mic was uh, actually in good, but uh, I have it far away in the in my in my uh, table. Anyway, and sorry, I did not see your text. All right, so uh, uh, when somebody says to us that Sharia law is not what uh, Islam does not teach uh, uh, that Sharia or uh, Sharia law is uh, is government and religion at the same time. Read with me the article. True Islam. When they say to you true Islam, what they mean exactly? Want separation of mosque and state? Where did they get this from? I mean, this is the most stupid statement ever I heard. When you say true Islam, what does that mean exactly? And look how they prove to you their point. They go down and they show you survey. You know, uh, uh, they made. How much should Quran influence our country? And then here they show you Muslim countries 
they are giving you the numbers as an example in Pakistan is 97% uh, well see I don't know what is that is 100 uh, is, is uh, uh, 100% uh, Jordan 96% Malaysia 64% Senegal 94% Nigeria 50% Indonesia 91% Lebanon 56% Turkey 96% um, I don't know I mean what those people are talking about what does have to do what does to do with with the if, if Islam uh, ordered that or not first of all you will notice that countries who have more non-muslims you will see the percentage of we don't want quran is higher as an example when you say nigeria nigeria is not a hundred percent muslim country right there's a you know almost 50 percent or even more christians in indonesia there's about 10 you know 10 percent of christians this is why it says here indonesia 91 percent they want islam so in, in fact what you are saying to me you are saying to me all the muslim want sharia law it's not they don't want because if we take the 10% of Indonesia, which is a Christians, then we will find that the 91% you are talking about is 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 is, is, uh, is Muslims. Now, if you are here, if, if, if those colors here are saying, strictly follow is the green, darker green. Follow less is lighter green. And very light gray or green, not to be followed by. All right. So here, if you say Burkina Faso, I mean, who? What Burkina Faso? What is that? Turkey. You know, thirty-six percent they want. They don't care for Islam. Thirty-eight percent they are. Uh, they they want, but not so much. And thirteen percent they are strict. In Pakistan, seventy-eight percent. But what does have to do with if Islam teach that or not? I assure you that most, most of Muslims don't want Sharia law. Are you happy now? But what does this have to do with the true Islam does not want Sharia law? <laughs> Are you telling me that Islam don't want Islam? And then look what they say here. True Islam wants separation of mosque and state. Well, was Muhammad a prophet without a state? Or maybe Muhammad was not a true Muslim. Was Uthman, was Abu Bakr, was Umar, was all the caliphate. Why they call them caliphate? Why they call them caliphate? <laughs> if Sharia law, if the true Islam don't want a state and religion in the same time. So why we are calling those who came after Muhammad caliphate? They are caliphate to who? Where did they get their authority from? From the religion, from the prophet. So they are caliphate of the prophet so they are his hand who replace him because he died so they are a religious figure who is the head of the state if we go right now to iran who is the head of the state the real head of the state is the mullah the one they call him ayatollah before it was al khomeini not the president the president is not the highest authority in iran the mullah he can take him off anytime the Iranian government is trying to resemble in the West somehow, but still it is not a separated state. Here we go. We have a president and we have a mullah, but the mullah still is the highest authority. Actually, the mullah is the one who approve, who is accepted to go in the election, which means when you when you apply for election uh, to be a, a nominee for election, the mullah have to accept you and promote you. Otherwise, you will not go there. Your your uh, your application is rejected so how we can examine this you know like if you go in the cnn you will see this in cnn in cnn they are saying this five myth about sharia five myth about sharia okay what is the five myth this is an article by a Muslim published in the in, in the CNN. CNN is the is the is number one supporter for Islam in USA. Sharia law is Islamic law. So this is number one myth. <laughs> Sharia is Islamic law. This is a myth. I mean, do you see how they try to fool you? 
After March terrorist attack in Brussels, Trump said the European Muslims want to go by Sharia law. In May, Republican Joe, etc., 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 Michigan have tried to implement the diversion of Sharia law in the United States. Talk show, Mark, etc., he said, we already have a creep in Sharia law in this country. Listening to these voices, you might think that the West on verge of switching the whole new legal system. For sure not, but we know that you are trying. But Sharia is not a law. It is in sense that we in the West understand it. And most devoted mo Muslims who embrace Sharia, uh, 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 accept, uh, like, you know, uh, they, they accept it, don't think of it as a sub uh, substantial for civil law. So what do they think about it? So what Sharia law mean? I mean, look how they try to fool you. They are making it long article full of lies that the Sharia is not a law. So what it is? If a person he steal in Islam, what we are going to do practice Sharia law? What is that? We cut his hand. If a woman she commit adultery and she is married, what we will practice Sharia law? What is that? We stone her to death. If a person is a gay, what we would do to him? We throw him from the top of the building. What is that? Sharia law. So they try to say to you, Sharia law have nothing to do with law. So what it is? Fiction? Philosophy? What are liars? Myth number two, if a Muslim country, Sharia law is, uh, uh, in Muslim country, Sharia is the law of the land. No, for sure. There's only a few Muslim countries, they practice Sharia law. And that is the proof that the majority of Muslims are Muslims by name. Otherwise, why they don't watch Sharia law? Why in Algeria don't have Sharia law? Why in Morocco they don't? Why in Libya they don't? Why in Egypt they don't? Because simply Muslims, they don't believe in Islam anymore. Otherwise, if they want Islam, if they already truly believe in Islam, they should practice Sharia law immediately. <clears throat> because Muslims, they have no choice to practice or not if this is an Islamic state, but because those states are Muslims by name, but they are not really Islamic no more. This is why you'll find that many of those countries are not practicing <coughs> Sharia law. All right. Igal uh, Uthman, do you want me to turn for you the Skype? Do you want me to? Because you said, I fear you. I fear all the Muslims. You are very scary, my friend. You fought a lot. Is that what you do? I mean, we, we fear you very much. While while uh, the true Sharia influence the legal codes in most Muslim majority countries, those codes have been shaped by a lot of things, including most powerfully European colonialism, etc. Thank you very much. So you are saying to me that the Muslim themselves have discovered that Sharia law is not suitable for them no more, and they are following. The European style of law. Thank you very much. But what this have to do that Sharia law is a law, and the Muslim themselves they are rejecting it. Let us see what Muhammad he said and get that Abdul busted. <clears throat> is Sharia law is a must to practice? Let us see. Those are a hadith made by Muhammad. For those who do not know what hadith means, sorry, my, my voice is tired speaking for many hours today. Uh, those hadith, which mean Muhammad's speeches, speaking about what Muhammad he want. What Muhammad want exactly. Read with me carefully. I'm not, I'm not the one. I'm not the one who's saying that. I'm not the one who's quoting for you uh, my own fiction. I'm just... I'm just showing you what Muhammad he said. Let us show you actually more reference. All those references in front of us is telling us what Sharia law exactly. Read with me carefully. You can choose any of them because all of them is getting those liars who make articles for you busted. And all of this is authentic very much authentic very much authentic sharia law or to be a muslim is not a person who do just uh, say i'm a muslim or say shahada and it's not a person 
who go to the mosque is not a person he is he called his son Muhammad is not a person who says shahada only it's a person who have to practice exactly as Muhammad he said even you have to eat as Muhammad he allow you to eat which means you don't even have a choice of the food to eat or not to eat as you see all those hadith in front of us is confirming that you have to eat as Muhammad order you you have to dress as Muhammad order you you have to do what Muhammad you have to say you have to slaughter everything in the life of a Muslim is by Sharia Allah and if you don't follow it he is going to be killed So they are saying to you that a true Islam separate between Islam and government. But the government of Islamic countries based on Muhammad words and orders. Right? Well, I search in Arabic, you know, for me it's easier to find things. <clears throat> Always the easiest way to find things fast uh, because I can go and get it uh, a different way. But this is the easiest way. I like I, I type Omar to Anu Qatil. You know, always if you want to find anything uh, in the net, uh, if you if you memorize if you memorize the the, the uh, let us say the story, then you take a unique sentence of it and you put it in the search engine and then you should find it. You know what I mean? All right. So all those references in here. Is shown to us what is the Sharia law. Sharia law. Thank you for the donation, my friend. God bless you. Uh, all of this. Let me give you an example. When Abu Bakr mobilized to fight them, fight who? Fight who? Do you know? Fight who, guys? Fight the Muslims. Fight who? The Muslims. What do you mean he will fight the Muslims? Yes, those people who they are don't want to practice Sharia law because they are not allowed to do that and they are considered apostate. The second you refuse to practice Sharia law, you are apostate. Omar said, Oh Abu Bakr, how you can fight people who, when the messenger of Allah said, I have been commanded to fight people until they say that ilaha illallah? So Muhammad he said, I've been ordered to command people until they say the ilaha Allah, and those people they say the ilaha Allah, they say the shahada. So how do you want to kill them? Look what Muhammad, what Abu Bakr he said. Whoever say la ilaha Allah, his life and his property are safe from me. Muhammad said that. You see Muhammad the criminal. Okay, property, your property. If you say Muhammad is a prophet, he will not take your property. If you not, he will kill you. He will steal your property. Except for what is right. And he is rock uh, 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 for uh, will be with Allah. Abu Bakr said, read carefully with me. By Allah, I will surely fight those who separate prayer and zakah. For zakah is what is due on worth. By Allah, if they withhold from me a small she goat that they use to give to the messenger of Allah. I will fight them for withholding it. Omar said, By Allah, I realized that Allah, the Most High, had opened the chest of a Bakr to fight in them. Then I know that was that it was the truth. So those are Muslims, and now they do, they, would, they want to practice one of the Sharia law. What is a Sharia law? Even you have to pay Muhammad money. <clears throat> you have to pay him, otherwise he will kill you. He calls the cat. If you don't pay him, he will kill you. Abu Bakr is saying, even if it is for a, for a little goat, huh, I will go for war. They have to pay me. Muhammad he died, <clears throat> and now <clears throat> let me get some water. Sorry. <clears throat> Muhammad he died. And now, if you don't follow Muhammad, what he order you, he will kill you. Abu Bakr will kill you. The Muslim will kill you. Look what Muhammad said. Now read carefully with me, please. I'm not, I'm, I'm showing, I show always everything in the screen. I apologize again. Look, my voice is gone. All right. Uh... <clears throat>
Okay. Read with me carefully, please. <coughs> Muhammad said, <coughs> Man, look like my voice is gone. <coughs> oh boy. Hmm. I need to take a break. The Messenger of Allah said, I have been ordered to fight the people until they bear witness that ilaha illallah and Muhammad is his servant and messenger. And you and face our qibla. Even you have to face a certain direction you pray. If you don't do that, he will kill you. And you eat our slaughter. You have to eat exactly as he told you, as he told you to slaughter from meat. Which means if you eat pork, he will kill you. If you don't say uh, Allahu Akbar when you are slaughtering a cow or a sheep, he will kill you. And perform the salat, which means if you don't perform salat, he will kill you. And if they do that, if they do what? The list we show, we saw you. If they do that, then their blood and their wealth will be unlawful to us. Us who? All the Muslims. You see how they lie to you and they say Sharia law has nothing to do. True Islam don't want Sharia law, want separate, want to separate between the Sharia in Islam as a religion and government. That's a lie. That is a big fat lie. And they are expecting you to be stupid and to believe in their articles. They bring you a Muslim or a Muslim posting an article in their website, and those naive, stupid liberals believe anything. And now, if there is a liberal listening to me, he will say this good person is teaching hate. Right away, they start throwing rocks at you. Just for seeing the truth, I'm showing what it says there. This is their prophet. This is not CNN. This is not Fox News. This is not Abdul. This is not Tomato. This is not Potato. This is the founder of Islam saying, if you don't eat the food I say to you to eat, I will kill you. If you don't pray the way I told you to pray, I will kill you. If you don't face the direction of the Qibla, the Kaaba, I will kill you. And then they say to me, you are teaching hate. You know what I mean? And then they post those things in your children's so they can poison the mind of your kids. And then your son, your daughter, you say to you, oh, and the Islam doesn't teach that. They are lying. Those are people who, they are racist. They make Islam even as a race. The second you start speaking against Islam, they accuse you to be a racist. Just to silence you. Or they accuse you of bigotry of hate and hate just to silence you. And it's amazing how the world today is so stupid. I mean, I mean, today, if you are stupid, you are cool. They call you cool. You are cool, man. You are cool. If you are a donkey, they call you open minded. What open minded mean? Open-minded these days mean that you are certified stupid. Do you want to accept that somebody want to kill somebody today in your country because he's a gay? You want to do that? He will go, you're open-minded. This is what they want. Muhammad, he said, kill them. If somebody don't eat, if somebody eat pork, he will kill him. Do you see it? If you don't do the prayer, you know, like uh, 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 some stupid people, they say, including Muhammad James White. This is why the Muslim, they like this guy, Muhammad James White. He said, whoever said Islam is ISIS is a liar. And the proof, ISIS, they killed Muslims. Do you see how stupid this man is? And now there's many naive Christians, they listen to this donkey, and they think he is a scholar. And they think he was debating Muslim defending the Bible, but the fact this guy is poisoning you because he is deceiving you about Islam. And what is more important than a person who believe that Islam is not evil to be deceiver? Isn't it the Bible says, who is the Antichrist? Who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Father and the Son. When someone like James White, Muhammad James White, he deny that Islam is evil, it means he is defending the Antichrist. And when we show you here, when he say that Islam, you know the ISIS killed Muslims, well, Muhammad he killed Muslims too. Abu Bakr he killed Muslims, and I just showed you the reference. Because if you are a Muslim but you don't practice Salah, Muhammad will kill you. 
if you are a Muslim who say Shahada and you don't practice any of those, any item here is missing, Muhammad will slaughter you immediately. So ISIS are practicing Islam because the second you don't do that, you are an apostate. What is the condition not to kill you? You have to say the Shahada. La 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 la. And then after that, you have to face our Qibla. And then you have to eat as we eat, whatever we slaughter. Which means you have to slaughter the same way you eat exact food we told you. And then you have to perform Salat, which means if you are a Muslim but you don't pray, still you, they will kill you. And if they do that, then their blood and their worth is to be unlawful to us. The liars who they teach you, like Muhammad James White, they say to you that ISIS is not Islam because they kill Muslims. Well, Muhammad, he said, kill Muslims who don't practice what we saw them to practice because obviously they are not Muslims. Are you following me? Don't make people fool you, my friend. Don't make people fool you. They are coward. They are liars. I challenge this guy, the, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, James White, James Brown. I don't know. Green. I challenged him to debate me. The coward, he ran away. And always when you see a Muslim, they say to a person that he is a nice guy, we like him, that's mean there's something wrong with him. The first thing to make you suspicion about a person who claim to be Christian, if the Muslims like him. There's no way. You are a kafir, you are najis. The Quran describe us as we are dirty, filthy. We are the worst of the creatures. There is no way a Muslim he would say that you are a nice person and he is a religious. Muslim even they are not allowed to say assalamu alaikum to us, which means peace to you. When the devil, my friend, when the devil speak good of me, it's mean I am good in the eyes of the devil. Do I agree? Do I agree, guys? When the devil speak good of me. Obviously, I am not in the sight of God. You do not need to be genius to know that you should not support this person. You should not listen to him. The Lord, he said, many will come wearing what? What kind of uniform? Sheep. You know, they come to you as a clothes of a sheep. He's defending the Bible. He's defending Christ. But the fact he is a poison, he is more dangerous actually from those who they are preaching Islam because he is in your house. You think he is a Christian, he's defending the Bible. He was debating a Muslim to prove the Trinity, blah, 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 blah. But between, he put the poison in your dish. The same as Jehovah's Witnesses. They claim that they are, they have a Bible like ours, but the fact is not. Uh, <clears throat> you know, don't go by what people say to you. If somebody says something to you, tell him, show me the reference, and don't go just by a quotation. Go by a lifestyle. Was Muhammad a warrior? He killed his enemy who didn't agree with him? Yes. Look what Muhammad said. Muhammad is saying, I've been ordered to fight all mankind. Which means he ordered to fight anyone is not a Muslim, not a specific tribe or specific location. I've been ordered to fight mankind, all of them. Until they say, until they accept, until they witness, until they do this, until they do that. And then if they do that, they are safe from my hand. You see it? The Muslim, they say to you, oh, uh, well, Muhammad at that time, he was defending himself. No, no, read, read carefully. Where is the defend? I have been commanded to fight against people till they testify. So what, the, what is the problem? What is the reason to fight? You see how you can get them busted? What is the problem? Why Muhammad want to fight? What is, what is the target? What is the motivation? I've been commanded to fight against the people till they say, Tell the testify that Allah is God and He is a prophet. 
Do you see it? They lie to you. They say, oh, they attack him. He was defending himself. Don't you have the right to defend yourself? Abdul, we are not stupid. Do you believe in tradition alone inside the scriptures? No, I believe only in the scriptures. Anything out of the book is not 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 the book. Christians should not believe in anything in the side. You can read them just to educate yourself to see what's going on, but we should not accept anything to be scriptures except the scriptures. This is what the Bible says. Anyone come with other scriptures other than this is what? Right? So if somebody trying to fool you says this is other scriptures, this there's no other scriptures. That's it. In the side, we can read like books about history of the church or a church father, no problem. But those are not scriptures. Those have different value. They can be valuable to learn, but they are not equal to our scriptures. Scriptures is different story. All right? <clears throat> I don't know what are you talking. The book of Enoch, the one is the, the one is the fiction. There's a book, it's called the book of Enoch. Not the Bible, not in the Bible. There's there's a fiction one, which is a stupid book, and actually Muhammad he took some stories from it too. All right. Uh, is the Christianity and Islam are not working? Fact, I, I don't know what are you talking about, my friend. If if a human, if mankind, they practice Christianity, Christianity can help and change the whole world. As an example. If, if all mankind, they practice one sentence of Jesus teaching, not a book, love your enemy. How much America spend every year for the defense? What is enough to feed the whole world, maybe for a generation to come? How much China, how much India? India is a very poor country, yet they are spending a huge budget because everybody fearing the war is coming between them and Pakistan. So if everybody practice love, which is Jesus, he order, love your enemy, then there's no enemy left. And the whole world will change. The failure is the failure is you. You are the one who fail, not Christianity, my friend. It is your stupidity who decide not to follow God, <clears throat> and that make the world go and to be horrible. Correct, guys. If we practice only, only one sentence of Jesus' teaching, imagine what would happen to this earth. Nobody will stay poor. And nobody will be extremely rich because if you love everybody, you give. You will not find someone like the owner of Gogol. He own what more than all of Africa own together. Because if you love really the world, you love everybody, he will share his money. He will give it. He will feed the poor. But because we are obsessed with loving ourselves, Everyone he want me. I want to have a better house. I want to have a better car. I want to have more money. The one who have a thousand, he want ten thousand. The one who have ten, he want a million. The one who have a million, he want ten million. The one who have a million, he want a he want a billion. And the one who have a billion, he have more billions. Do they have enough? They don't have enough, and they will never have enough. Is the owner of Amazon will stop making money and, and collecting more money? No, he is the most rich man in the world now. He want more money. So the word, you know, uh, 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 facing failure because simply we have a lot of fake people speak for money, work for money, our media, our news, even our books, even our histories. If you go and read the history, you will see how much the history is corrupt. You will never open a Western book speaking about the crusade saying something good. Why? If not the crusade, the Muslims will be occupying Europe from a long time ago. It was the crusade who saved you. Everybody say the most ugly stuff about the crusade. They are savage. They are disgusting. They are bad. They are criminals. But the fact the crusade, they were defending you. It was the Muslims who were attacking, not the crusade attacking. Once, once I've been asked, a person, he said, what about the crusade? I said, what about it? He said, didn't they attack Jerusalem? I said, they were there, my friend. Are you stupid or what? Those who you call them attacking Jerusalem, they are there. It was the Muslims who attacked Jerusalem. When they are there, they are there before the Muslims. Do you see the stupidity? It is not the crusade who attacked Mecca. What Muhammad had to do with Jerusalem?
So they brainwash you when you are a child and they tell you, and now you became ashamed of the crusade. Be proud of the crusade. The crusade is the best thing happened to you as a Christian. If not those, Australia now will be Muslims. America will be Muslims. Spain will be Muslims. The, the Muslim, they occupy Spain for more than 800 years. 800 years. It's not the Spanish who, you see, they say to you, what about the Spanish missionaries who came and occupy South America? You know, the Muslims, it's okay for them to take Spain itself. But the Spanish, they cannot go. The Muslims, they took Spain and they changed the name of the country and they call it Andalusia. It's fine. They took Syria. It's fine. They took Iraq. It's fine. They took Egypt. It's fine. They took Morocco. It's fine. They took Libya. It's fine. All of those countries are not Arab countries. None of those countries are Arab countries. They can take it. And nobody speak against Islam. No CNN. What about the Turkish and the crimes of the Turkish in the name of Allah? A million and a half, almost two million Armenians slaughtered. Millions of women raped. Children kidnapped and disappear in the name of Allah. But they remember only the crusade. The crusade was very, if I was existing at the time of the crusade, I would be the first one to join. Honors to my Lord. I will be honored to be in the front, in the front line. What's wrong with defending your country, my friend? The Muslim did come, they invade us, they took our land, they took our holy church, they destroy our churches. The holy church where Jesus was, the empty tomb of Jesus, the Muslim, they turn it into dumpster for garbage. That the point in the book of Mikathir, instead of saying Kanisat al Qiyama, Qiyama in Arabic means resurrection. In the book of Ibn Kathir, they call it Kanisat al Qumama. Umama, which means garbage. Imagine. And Ibn Kathir is not saying that to insult. No, he is saying that because the church it turned to be a dumpster for garbage for the Muslims. <clears throat> they lie to you, and always you believe in the lie because as a CNN, who is going to believe a Christian prince who have like a few hundred people listen to him? Who is this Christian prince? Nobody. CNN. You go in every airport in the world, CNN is talking. That's it. CNN is God. CNN is the one who told you the truth. If CNN said that, that's it. And the world is full of garbage. In the world today, the more you are stupid, the more you are nice and you are being a wonderful person. The more you say the truth, the more people hate you. Just today, today, we, we, when we were live on air, you heard the guy who told him, uh, he said that my friend told me that you should be killed. Did you remember? Do you remember? Today, live on air. Christian Prince. My friend told me that you should be killed. The coward, he don't dare to say he is the one who is saying that. I know that. He is the one who is saying that. He's a potato. You don't have balls to say it. But the second you start saying the truth and hitting the devil, the devil, he will respond with all his power. And I told him, tell your friend you made me fart. And do you see how scared I am? I mean, man, I'm, I'm hiding under my table. My friend, death is the last thing I am afraid of. Honest to God, I'm afraid of being sick more than being, being killed. <laughs> I don't want to get sick. I want to die healthy. How I, die, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I, I went through my life in many, many things. You will not believe it. Many dangerous stuff. And those who were scared of death is the one who die. And never wrong, never happened to me anything. I mean, I get injured sometime, etc. But I never, I never been afraid of death. Because the one who is afraid of something, that thing is going to follow you. You see, if you have a phobia from diseases, you will get sick. 
the phobia will kill you if you have hate your hate will kill you if you have anger your anger will kill you you have to be balanced and you have to be trusting you are you have to trust the more you convince yourself of something which is going to be scary for you the more you are not even going to enjoy your life if you are a person who is afraid to fly you will never fly and then you will never enjoy life or if you go in, fl in flight you are not enjoying your trip if you are a person who is scared to go in the highway because there's many accidents every year happen then you will never go anywhere the best way to live your life is not to be worried too much be smart but not be worried and you know to be smart mean don't do things stupid and say nothing will happen to me and don't throw yourself from the top of a high building and says I'm not worried about it that is stupid but do what is right and don't make worry occupy your mind and for me Islam is not making me worry what is making me let us say uh, upset is the stupidity of those who promote Islam but they are not Muslims like CNN even Fox News Washington Post BBC I never saw anyone you see the the Western the Western media they promote Islam more than Islam Muslim themselves it sound like the Western they are in suicide mood this is how I see them you know they lost their sense look what's happening in Europe I, I went to Germany I did not find any German in the street there's no German the whole everybody is foreigner there's no German this is suicide mood this is stupidity you see me myself I'm an immigrant I am an immigrant so I you cannot say you cannot accuse me to be a, a person teaching against uh, me myself I'm an immigrant I'm not born in USA but it's a stupid that you bring foreigners to your country to the point you became minority right stupidity is amazing I wasn't happy to see that in Germany there's no German actually all the ones I met in Germany not even one of them is German even those who they are Christians is it weird isn't it weird and dangerous All what they care for is bringing cheap employment. You see how the devil work? George Soros controlling Europe. He owned all the businesses. You see, there's companies, they have different names. And they look like they have different owners. But the fact there's a big owner in the back, that is George Soros. He loved to bring more immigrants for a very simple reason. Because that will make him pay a lot less. He don't care for immigrant. He don't love them. He want to use them. Why he want to pay a citizen who is a German a lot of money as salary? Let me bring someone. He is a refugee. He will accept to work for five hundred pound a month, and he will be happy to have it. And by the time he start asking for more, I will kick him out, and I will bring a new refugee. Because now he became a citizen, maybe. Uh, let us see this guy is saying something here. Hold on, hold on. We have we have somebody, I think it's Abdul Undercover, maybe. Uh, let us see. You know that various Old Testament prophet had six slaves, right? 
and had one night one uh, one killed his daughter a sacrifice to God cause his promise you see uh, uh, passes is you, uh, you know I don't like stupidity and I want to say thank you for being stupid because when you say that prophets they have six slaves well I would like you to show me where it says in the Bible that they have six slaves you are a liar secondly when you say that a person he sacrificed his daughter because he made a promise to God what does this have to do with God if I now say I am going to kill my son if God did something to me and I do it later is that God and you will notice in the story you are quoting for me that story is showing you how much religious those people to the point even his daughter she asked him she said yes you should do it even the daughter who was killed by her father which mean it was not even against the will of his own daughter so you are not being fair you are being just a stupid person trying to accuse and you don't understand what what is talking about if I say, if I say, I want to, I, I will kill my son if this is happen, and I do. What is is that? God told him to do that. You see how they fabricate the stories and they make it upside down. They say to you that Lut have sex with his daughters, but daughters have sex with him. Did God say that to them? Just to try to make you believe that the Bible is the book of the devil. The Bible is the book of history reporting what people do. What people have. If the people in the if, if people in the in the in the in the Old Testament they kill, if they do anything, the Bible is reporting history. There is where God said, and there is where people do. In the same time, you are quoting for me a book which is exist and people who they have a life thousands of years ago. At that time, you idiot, everybody owned slaves, even the Jews themselves, they've been enslaved. The whole nation been under slavery. So you want to judge a community by itself, but you want to judge the whole world? The whole world is a slavery world. This is how stupid you are. And this is how dishonest you are. If it was only the Jews they practice slavery we will say okay well you know what only the Jews the rest are good people look at the Jews how evil they are do you guys you understand me what I'm saying if this is the practice of everybody around the world all the way from China all the way to the West even the Indian even etc everybody the Jews themselves they've been taken as a slave the whole nation twice not few of them all the nation they've been grabbed like goats and they've been driven out of their land to israel to to, to egypt and to assyria so why you don't quote the timing and what was happening at that time you if you are exist at that time you will own slaves too or you will be a slave do you see the hypocrisy of those donkeys Donkeys, they have no dignity. We are talking about people who lived thousands of years ago, where everybody either is a master or he is a slave or he is a soldier or he is a bandit who go attack people in the street. People live by the sword, die by the sword. They have no dignity. They just want to put you down. They want to make you believe that the Bible is, is, is evil. If I want to compare my life to somebody who lived 3,000 years ago, that is stupid. That means you are officially stupid. We cannot compare. My friend, none of the Muslims will debate me. Don't worry about it. My religion is not working. First of all, I don't have a religion, my friend. It's your religion is not working. This is why your prophet, he said, my religion start as a strange will end as a strange. This is a prophecy, your prophet, he made. So you tell me if he's lying or not. 
for me my belief is working very much that's why I'm here if it's not working I will not be here and you will not be listening do, do you notice how stupid you are if 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 my belief is not working why you are here and why I'm here and why you are listening to me and why there's hundreds of people listening to me now Sometimes you look at what people say, they are not even talking, they are farting. There's only gas, too much gas. It's like somebody is pregnant with a lot of words, but the words is coming from every every direction, from every hole in his body. Sometimes from his nose, sometimes from his toes, sometimes from his you never know. They just let the gas go. It is a gas. Right? I think you are a Muslim. Well, why not? Okay, what is your religion? What is your religion? Eliza Zouzoua, what is your religion? Let me prove to you that you are a Muslim. What is your religion? El Ziwawa, what is your religion? Tell me. No, I don't believe in let it go. One of the problems we have today that we let things go. When somebody says something to you, get him busted. Let it go, you let lies go. Right? Hmm? He is Israeli Hebrew. He's the same as the Muslims. They are racist. Muslims, they think they are the best of mankind. Those Israeli Hebrew, they are people who think that they are the best of mankind, and everybody else is a, is a cockroaches around them. The same garbage. The same garbage. Do we have any Muslim? <laughs> how Allah can prove that he deleted the verse of Satan he cannot there's no Muslim can prove that to us you see guys we don't have many people listening because we are you know we finish our broadcast and I'm doing this at the second turn just just to explain uh, you know to be honest with you I feel guilty I really feel guilty I wish I can I can teach people 24 hours a day if I can I hope the Lord will bless me and keep my voice working. That's my hope, so I can do it. And as you see, the second we challenge the potatoes, they run away afraid from being fried. It doesn't matter what is your religion, I don't care. You are an atheist, you are a Muslim, you are a, a Hebrew, you call yourself Hebrew, call yourself yourself. Do we have any Muslim? Waves, waves, you challenge me? How you challenge me, my friend? How you want to challenge me? What does that mean? You want to challenge me about how much tomato you can eat? You want to challenge me about how much knowledge you have? Challenge me about what? Make, make it clear. What is your challenge about? I have been misleading the Muslims. Okay, do you like me to open my sky for you, Mr. Wave, so you can call me? Do you think, guys, this Mr. Wave, he can call me? He have the courage to call me? Or he is saying, just, I challenge you, but he don't mean it. Because his mom, she will not allow him to call me. Okay, no problem. Are you willing to call me to, to, to get me busted in front of everybody about my ignorance? Or your mom will not allow you to speak to me because you are not an adult. You are just 50 years old kid do you wish to call me hello are you going to call me or not so you want to stay crying in the text look he stopped even talking stop texting He's calling mom. Say, mom, can I call him? Before you call me, I want you to sign a disclaimer that if something happened to you, I'm not responsible. If you die from heart attack, if you did not sleep for the coming two months, if you commit suicide, it's not my business. Do you agree? Hello? 
clue. What happened to this guy? He's gone. He's not even texting. I hope he's not did not die. Guys, once I was debating a shake. Not, not, not debate, we did not start the debate. So we scheduled a date, we scheduled a time. All right. And then the time came and I was waiting for him in Pal Talk, etc. And the guy he came, he keep his promise. Look what he said, why he cannot debate me. Like, I mean, look for an excuse. Just imagine an excuse. You will not believe it if I tell you. He said to me in front of everybody, I cannot debate you because to the, you, my wife, she got her period. I said, what? You what? What? You cannot debate me because your wife, she got her period? I'm so glad you did not open the camera and you show us what's happening. And what your wife period have to do with debating me? He said, it's hard to explain to you, you know, she is here. I said, so what if she is here? And I think maybe this guy, either he got his period or his wife, she got his her period. And this is why he's not going to talk no more. Look, the text is stopped. He's gone. Most immoral people I have met, this is why you live between them. This is why you left your country and you came you came here asking like, please give me visa, give me visa. This is why we go and we, we find thousands and thousands of Muslims crossing the sea, crossing the land, risking their life just to come to the, the, the one who they are immoral. Right? The infidels, the dirty infidels, because they are bad. Uh, St. Louis, one more time you say that, I will ban you from my from my chat. Did you see Chamsi video for you? My friend, this is why I challenged him to come and debate me. I paused there. I said to him, if you are a man, come and read for me what you are reading here. But he don't care. He don't dare. He didn't even dare to say hi. He said to me, small text down after my challenge. He said to me, email me and we will arrange something. <laughs> email me and we will arrange something. What, what? Email me, email me, I will arrange, we will arrange something. I said to him, I'm here every, every day here. Arrange what? I'm ready anytime you want. Surprise me, hit me in the head. We will arrange something. Uh, if there's any Muslim would like to call us. Any Muslim want to arrange something? Hey, Rovian. Some people are immature. Not some people, my friend. You see, the, the, the problem with immaturity is, is our problem as mankind in general. You know, there's many men and, and women, they are not mature. But in Islam, everything is immature. As an example, you know, just, just, just to show you. If I go right now to the Quran, <clears throat> if I go to the Quran, and I... Try to find something mature. Something about a story we can tell it for adult. Okay. I want to tell you something very mature now. I want to tell you a story about a very important figure. His name is Suleiman. His name is very well known. Very famous prophet and king in Islam. I will tell you a very mature story. Brother, sisters, sit down, please. And please don't open your mouth wide open because you will be amused with this story. And Suleiman was David Heyer. He said, oh, you people, you have been taught the speech. I have. We have been taught the speech of the birds. Oh, boy. Was Allah mature when he said that Allah, he taught Suleiman the speech of the birds? Question, Muslims. Why Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds? Here we go. I'm, I must be Suleiman. Any Muslim can tell me how it is, what is the point of teaching Suleiman the language of the bird? 
Suleiman is a messenger for mankind. Why he is speaking the language of the birds. Very mature. All right. Then we continue. And us, on us, being bestowed a little of all things, a little of all things, you know, the language of the birds, the language, I mean, little, little. I mean, look how humble he is. Okay, and then he says, And before Solomon, where marched his host of jinns and mankind and birds, the army of Suleiman is an army contained the following. Let me draw something for you. You know, I cannot resist a drawing. You know, I'm very, I wish I'm good in art, man. I mean, I'm not lucky to be, to be honest with you. I wish I am good in art. <clears throat> okay, let us see. So the the, the army of Suleiman have human. This is a human. Thousands and thousands of soldiers. Uh, by the way, guys, I have copyright over those things. Don't take them and sell them like for millions of dollars. Okay. Those are the soldiers of Suleiman. There is tons of them, tons, tons, like a lot, a lot of them. Okay. Okay, we have ranks. This ranks is a human. You see, I'm very good in drawing. You can tell, right? And then after that, we have genie. Okay, this is a genie. This is Mr. Genie. You have two antenna. And this is his tail. And then we have birds. And this is the birds. How we draw bird? Man, I'm very horrible in drawing. Okay, bird. I need somebody of you to come and help me. Bird, a chicken. Okay. It it work. It work. Look, I, I made it. <laughs> so Suleiman, he have a three brigade in his army: brigade of man, brigade of genie with tail, which means shaitan, and the brigade of birds. And this is his army. And now he is going to attack. Takbir. <laughs> This is a book for adult. This is a book for adult, not for kids. You see, I'm reading for you from the book of God, not from the book of children's. Yeah, let, let me put my signature over it. So you guys, you, I know you, many of you will stay it and we make a book about it and make money from it. Okay, let us see. Christian, Prince, Prince, you see Prince in Arabic, we don't say Prince, Prince, okay, here we go, Prince, here we go, signature, here we go, I, I now you cannot play games with me, you cannot take it and buy it, I know you, especially the guy, his name is a crusade, he keep, he keep giving me donation, now he will he will copy the, the picture and he goes it so he can get his donation back, I know what he would do, he would say it like five, four, five, six million dollars, especially this is about a religious figure do you really Muslim believe in that how are you Idris oh hold on hold on your name is Idris my friend do you know what Idris mean who is Idris uh, more please first and the last don't don't compare me to Picasso because Picasso he copy my drawing please take a note i mean i like to be humble because look listen 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 i am an arab which mean allah favor me upon more than because so look because so he don't speak arabic and you know like this is really very, very bad disadvantage did you see did you see muhammad hijab saying to david wood silence me show me i know this is coming you don't speak arabic now I have to give you a free Arabic lesson, so you see? What because so? What are you talking about? You cannot do that. Okay, Mr. Uh, St. Louis, obviously you are a false Christian. Get lost. You are a Muslim. I, I can't tell. 
don't answer him anyone answer him i will i will ban you too those are false those are not muslim not not christians don't say that and there's nothing is called in the in the in the bible to protestant don't don't be stupid the muslim they play you so they can make you fight the second you start fighting you are you are you fail that's mean the devil of islam he he was successful this is what he's doing and who told you that the, the catholic are not christians why not christians who is the donkey who told you that jesus said whoever believe in me and live and die he will live whoever believe in me there's nothing is called catholic nothing is called a protestant nothing is called orthodox stop being stupid thank you crusade the division between the christian is from the devil and the second you fail into the devil trap, you are part of the devil plan. Even the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 14, Allah, he said, I will spread hate and enmity between the Christian and the judgment day. And you, because you decide to follow the plan of Allah, you start dividing the Christian. Who are you to say they are Christians? Why? The Catholic, they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The same as you do. Shame on you to say that. It's a shame. And if a Catholic, he say the Protestants are not Christian, shame on you to say that. Don't be stupid. It is not you, it is not me who decide who is a Christian. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. The will of the Lord is not to be Catholic or to be Protestant. The will of the Lord is to follow him. He said that from their fruits you shall know them, not from their names. You can call yourself whatever you want. Who care? Do you think the Lord, he will come and take your, your, your church members just because you are from that church? That's stupid. No, no, I'm, I don't want to change the topic about to go to Gaza, my friend. We want to talk about here the mature, the mature Quran, my friend. And then Suleiman, my friend, he came lowly to the valley of the ants. Hey, by the way, guys, who wanna go with me? I wanna go Sahara trip to visit the valley of the ants. Who wanna go with me? Anyone interested? We wanna take some nice four-wheel drives, cars, and we will drive in the valley of the ants, and I will make you take selfie with the ants. We have in the Middle East, we have a valley, it's called the valley of the ants. Only ants can live there. Do you Muslims really believe that there is a valley? It's called the Valley of the Ants. Is that like the United States of Ants? Do you see how mature this book is? I mean, really, this is really. Uh, by the way, I feel sorry for you because you never been in the Middle East. In the Middle East, we have ants everywhere. This is why, once, mm, I told my mom, mom. I want to do something to stop the ants. She said, what? I said, I'm going to write. Hold on, hold on. So this is a true story, by the way, true story. This is from Sahil Bukhari. Okay. So I wrote in the jar of the sugar, salt. And I wrote on the jar of salt, sugar. Why? Ask me why. Because as you see, Middle Eastern ants, they knew how to speak languages and they can read and write. So now the ant are deceived. And instead of hitting our sugar, they go to the salt. They climb, they climb, they climb, they go all the way up, they open the jar, they get in. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Smart. We are, we are very smart people, for my friend, brother. You are very smart people. Which you are not capable of understanding. This is why you cannot understand the story here. Huh? Look what happened here. The ant, the proof that the ants in the Middle East, they are educated. Look, when Suleiman he arrived to the valley of the ants, one of the ants said, one, only one, you see, they are very polite. Not all the ants talk in the same time. I mean, think about it. Imagine there's a billion ants talking at the same time. Unbelievable. You will go crazy. You will go not. You will go not. One ant only. Every ant is listening. Arabian ants are very polite, brother. Ask Zakir Naik, brother. So one of the ants said, 
Oh ye ants, get into your habitations, lest Suleiman and his host crush you. Hold on, <clears throat> hold on, hold on, hold on. How the ant knew the name of Suleiman? Hello? How the ant knew his name? And yeah, Abdul can tell us, Allah is telling us the ant, she said that the ant, Suleiman, will crush you? Okay, how she knew the name of Suleiman? Izar, Izar, one more time you say what you say, I will I will get you out of my chat. And no, the Catholic they don't pray for idols. They don't. And if somebody is doing that, he is not following the Bible. That is a wrong practice. Don't be stupid. And just to show you how stupid what you are saying, how come you don't speak against the Orthodox? Orthodox, they have pictures in their churches and they pray in the front of it. How come you don't say the Orthodox they do that? You only focus on the Catholic because you're, they, taught, they taught you in, the, in, in, your, in your church to speak against the Catholic. That's all. But you don't want to use your brain. And let me tell you something. Let us say the Catholic, and by the way, I'm not a Catholic. If a Catholic, he pray in front of a picture, do he worship the picture? No. You will never find a, a Catholic believe in that. They don't. They pray in the picture because that person resemble what they love. And they will love what? They love Jesus. They love Mary. So even that wrong practice, which I believe is wrong, even that is based in love, not in evil. Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? People understand me? If somebody doing wrong practice, as an example, praying in front of a, of a picture, it is wrong. But that will not make him not a Christian. That will not make him evil. He loved Jesus. He's wrong. Teach him. Show him why this is wrong. But don't lie and say they worship the picture. Nobody worship the picture. It's a picture. Not even one Catholic worship a picture. This is a lie. So there's many churches, they have this tradition, and they do it. You don't agree with them. Show them it's wrong. But you don't say they are not Christians. Why? Who told you they're not Christians? Because they love Jesus very much? Because they love Mary very much? That will make them not Christians? That's wrong, my friend. And if doing wrong will not take us or make us be Christians, all of us, we do wrong every day. Guys, do you understand me? All of us, we do wrong every day. If there is somebody here he did not do wrong today, <laughs> don't be a hypocrite, my friend. Don't be a hypocrite. I love the Catholic, and I, I met a lot of wonderful people. Actually, let me have a surprise for you. 90% of those who did translate my books for free, voluntarily, later I discovered that they are Catholic. You see how wonderful they are? They are warriors. They are fighters for the Lord. So I am not a Catholic, yet they help me and support me. Why? Is that because the new Christian prince didn't know me? I never met them. But because they love the Lord. So don't fool yourself and you say they are not Christians. Christians is somebody believe in the Messiah and he follow him. If he do wrong, does not make him not a Christian. Unless the wrong is against the teaching of Jesus. Unless like if he deny the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Right? If a person deny the Son, deny the Father, he's an Antichrist. Do we agree on that, guys? Do we agree? If a person deny the Son, deny the Father. But those our sisters and brothers, they did not deny the Father. They did not deny the Son. They are Christians. Do we have any Muslim want to call us to explain to us how the end she was able to recognize uh, Suleiman? <clears throat> Do you agree? Me me mechanical, electronical being uh, or will dominate the world universe. My friend, I don't I don't want to go there with this conspiracy. 
that mechanical etc robot will be I mean you are making them so if you think they will dominate why you make them don't make them all right Hebrews are called the Christian no my friend you are not a Christian because you are racist any person is racist he cannot be Christian and Hebrew those who call themselves Hebrew they are racist they speak of a of a color you cannot be Christian and you believe in a color you cannot be Christian and you think because you are white you are better than the black or a black better than the white or better than the Asian the Bible says that all of us we are united there's no Greek there's no Hebrew you see how how foolish you are there's no Greek there's no Hebrew there's no free there's no slaves for all of us is one by his name so you insist to call yourself Hebrew because you are a racist when the Bible says don't say Hebrew don't say Greek don't say free don't say slave say we are followers of Christ my friend no the Hebrew I know in USA they are they are a group of a black people and they think the black people are the Hebrew and that is absolutely false I have the Middle East we don't have a black people there this is not Africa my friend just you are fooling yourself <clears throat> uh, anyway you can think think about yourself whatever you want you know people are crazy these days you can think you're God if you want go ahead by the way you can dream about yourself to be a sandwich All right no there is no Jewish there is no Jewish from China don't fool yourself there's none there's no Jewish you see I saw in Philippines some people they say we are Jewish this is a lie it's not a true you cannot you cannot be because Jewish are not Asian and when I say Asian I mean Asian you see the, the Judaism Judaism it was a nation and religion at the same time which means it's an ethnic they are children of a man his name is Israel that's why we call them the children of Israel and they are children of Abraham the grandfather so in order to be from Abraham you have to be from Abraham you cannot be from China and you are from Abraham that would be a joke don't fool yourself there's many people they fool themselves you know I saw I saw some Jewish rabbi trying to convert some Christian into Judaism because Judaism is dying is dead all the all the Jews became a Christians so what they are dying what they are doing now they start accepting new converting people so they fool them they say you are a Jew now and there's many of those Asian they are accepting that because they can go and work in Israel maybe they can help us and we get a job like in the Philippines so we can go and work in Israel but that will not work uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call us You see, Christianity have nothing to do with ethnic group, but Judaism, Judaism, they are children of certain family. They are from a family. So it is an ethnic, it is a religion at the same time. So me as an Arab, I cannot say I'm a Jew. There's no Jewish Arab. There's Jews who live between Arab, yes, but they are not Arab. There's Jews who live in Africa, yes, but they are not Arab, but not African. There's Jews who live maybe in, in Persia. A lot of Jews live in Persia, but they are not Persian. As simple as that. Uh, Waves, are you back? What happened, you Waves? I thought you disappeared. All right. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Yeah, we can be as a Christian, we can be from all nations, but if as a Jew, you cannot be from all nations. A Jew is a Jew. You know, actually the word even Jew is not correct, you know. It's not a, it's not really an accurate. Because when you say Jew, you are talking about specific tribe. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? You have an Israeli blood and you are a Muslim what does that mean a Jewish guy he married your mother
what happened you want to call me and tell me your story what happened man I'm worried about you now because Muhammad he believed that the Jews are the worst of mankind so now you have a Jewish blood what you would do with the blood now hmm Shamsi exposed me. Well, Shamsi he exposed me talking to himself. Here we go. I'm here. You see, for three days, or how many days, guys? Three days, four days. Every day I put the name of Shamsi in the top of my broadcast, and the coward Shamsi don't dare to call me. <laughs> he dared to talk to himself. He don't dare to call me. Who is the one expose who? Cowards. You Muslims are willing to fly all the way from England all the way to New York to debate David Wood, but you don't dare to call me in Skype. Right? For a very simple reason, I'm a Christian prince. You know who's going to be in dead. Right? Hajar Ishmael, so Jewish blood from man he took slave made uh, you see how stupid mr bassi's ex how you say the jewish so jewish blood from man he took slave how, how stupid you are how stupid you are what ishmael have to do with the jews number number one number one was the jews exist before ishmael or after number three is the jews are the children of ishmael i mean are you are you literally donkey are you literally a donkey I mean, are you certified donkey to make it simple for you? What Ishmael have to do with the Jews? If you want to tell me that Abraham, he have a slave, will everybody at that time have a slave? Slavery at that time was very normal. And not only that, let me tell you something else. If you go in the book of Exodus, you will see that even you can apply to work as a slave. <laughs> <laughs> you sell yourself. Do you believe it? This is how stupid you are. People they cannot afford living, so what they do? They go to a guy who's rich. He say, "I want to be your slave, me and my family, because in return they can get house, they can get food, they can get, they can live." They are desperately looking for any 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 source of life. So people they used to look for a master, but a donkey like you, he can't understand that. Not long time ago, all of Europe used to have masters, and the rest are almost slaves. Everybody is having a lord. Everybody have a lord. Nobody own a land. Whoever live in the village is a slave of the master. But how you can explain to a donkey the difference between a mule and a horse? He's a donkey. He look at them. He think they are the same. Not long time ago, if you don't have a master, you die from hunger. Because if you control everything, they are rich. And the rest, they are no one. They have no land. They have no authority. They can't even live alone. People, they will kidnap them. They will kill them. If you did not, if you did not get, if you did not ask for someone to be your master, which means it will give you protection, they will kidnap you, you and your family, and they will force you into slavery. This is how the world was. All right? My friend, you have a problem. You need to eat more zucchini. I advise you to eat more zucchini and stop thinking that your nose is zucchini. You dig too much in your nose, not in history. You are not digging in history. You are digging in your nose. There's a huge difference between digging in your nose and digging in history. And by the way, we are going back to the age of slavery. Right now, as we speak, we are going back to the age of slavery. All right, you are not a man. Hello, za, 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 za. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my friend. Let us see who is the man. You're a prophet. He used to imagine himself having sex with his wife. In fact, he did not. What is that to prove to you? As long as you are saying to me, I am not a man. Are you there? If Muhammad was not having sex with his wives, who is the one who was doing his job? 
and what what will make him a man then if he is not even capable to have something even anyone can do are you there the guy who said to me you are not a man do you think really a prophet who cannot he have many wives but yet he cannot have sex with them what happened he imagined himself having sex is that a man Show my face. Why you want to see my face? Why you want to see my face? Let me let me ask you a question. Why you don't say the same to Allah? Allah, show your face, coward. Why Jibreel did not show his face? What's wrong with you? The coward is you. You cannot debate me, so you try to find excuse. What is the excuse? This guy is not showing his face. Why I need to show you my face? What's your problem? Are you a homo? You blocked me from YouTube again. I am not not Muslim. You see, you're blocked because you're stupid. And this is how you earn your block. Here we go. I block you again. We welcome people who they are mature, not stupid. You want to be stupid? Go talk to yourself. Do we have any Muslim want to call us? Go here and protect yourself, Allah. Oh, okay. Any Muslim? Muhammad is a very, you know, he is the coward. He is the coward. You see, when Muhammad, he ran away and he escaped and he asked the Christians in Ethiopia for asylum. He was a brave. Why he did not challenge them and stay? stay okay you're a prophet Allah will support you why you need to go to the Christian and then after that he ran away from Mecca again and he lived between the Jew and the city of Yathrib to the Jews the Jews will protect you the Jews what a shame do we have any Abdul here One of the major reasons for me, I don't show myself in the internet. Additional to me, I'm not, I don't look good, which is, I look really scary. But first of all, it's a blessing. The Lord, he said, if you give with the right hand, don't let the left hand know. So now I give whatever I can give, and none of you can give me glory to myself, to my name. You know Christian Prince, who's a Christian Prince? Nobody knows. That is a blessing for me. It is biblical. Number two. When you show yourself, you will get the glory of mankind. People, they will praise you. You became famous by face. It's what people want. You know, people like to be famous. People, they spend money for it because they worship themselves. Even there's many who claim that they are working for God, but in fact, they are looking for fame. They are looking for being famous. So people, they will shake hands with them wherever they go. They want to take pictures with them. There's a lot of a glory for the person, but this is land, you know, earth glory. I don't care for that. I go now to the airport. You see me there. You will not even know that this is a Christian prince. Even if you are one of those who love what I do, and you will be so happy to meet me. You will not know me. Once I was sitting in the airport, there's two guys who are watching my videos and dying from laughing. I'm just sitting next to them. They have no idea that I'm a Christian prince. I am the one they are listening to. It is a beautiful, it is something I like, it is something I'm proud to be part of it. <clears throat> no, no, my friend, nobody fear. You know, the, 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 the Muslims, because they are they are they are desperate, they are trying how we can discredit this guy. You see, how we can make this person nobody listen to him. Okay, Christian Prince is coward. Let us say he's a coward. Let us say for sake of argument. Can you answer him? If he's a coward and he is doing this, what if he's a brave? If he is coward and thousands of Muslims left Islam because of him, what if he was a brave? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if the coward can do this, so you should be thankful that he is not a brave then. 
Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Islam is the most feminist religion. Why Muhammad he was a feminist? What does that mean? You want to call me to explain, my friend? Well, they don't have Muhammad beard. It's a lie. No, I don't go to Pal Talk, my friend. ما الفرق بين الكوفيين والبصريين في تقسيم الكلام؟ اشرح يا أخي سبحان الذي خلقك إنك من شرح مشروح ومن لفح مفلوح ومن بطح مبطوح وبعد أن كل هذا الكلام اكتشفت أن الصوت مبحوح خطير يا رجل They will never call me the coward any Muslim would like to call me about Christians you guys mock other religion mm. uh, in screen but cannot stand the chance to debate you have confusion well in polism whatever your name do you like to call me you know what let me open my Skype hold on let us see if you are the person who is the brave we are looking for even though my voice is tired but we can take a Abdul or two for a snack. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, my Skype now is open. Mr. Brave, are you willing to call me? The one who said we cannot stand to debate you. Do you like to call me, my friend? I will be happy to hear you. Let us see who is the one who can stand for a debate. Hello. A second ago, you were talking about being brave to debate. Here we go. I accept your offer. I challenge you to call me. Who was the Muslim on a call? Yeah, we can take two or three Muslims for a snack, not for a dinner. It's too late. You will bring your friends. You can call them. No problem. Any Muslim? <clears throat> Hello? Hmm. Yes, Hassan, how are you? Yeah, I believe we had a discussion earlier. Did you just woke up from bed, Hassan? No, no, I just, I'm still awake. Anyways, it was a bit, I, from both sides, we were a bit disrespectful, but let's try to have a proper conversation. That's wonderful, Hassan. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. All right, so basically what I want to say is that, so the Trinity, how, how can you give evidence for the Trinity in the Bible? And mm. in church history. Okay, that's a wonderful question. Do you have a proof that the Trinity does not exist? Me? Yes, of course. There's so many points I can give you. Okay, first of all, mm. in the Old Testament, it's never mentioned the mm. word, word Trinity mm. and it's never implied. Mm. Tell me where it's implied in the Old Testament. Mm. So if we show you from the Old Testament, you will believe in the Old Testament or still you will not believe anyway? No, no, no. Look, basically I believe the Old Testament, some parts of the Word of God, yes. But it's corrupted. It's no, not no, 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 longer, no, no, no. You see, uh, listen to me carefully. No longer, hold on, hold on, hold on. Know. Listen to me okay, carefully. Yeah. I'm saying, okay. if I show you the Trinity from the Old Testament, are you going to believe in what I say to you or still you will say, I don't believe it anyway? I just want you to prove no, no, no. I, I'm not going to waste my time. And then at the end of the day, after speaking to you for 10 hours, you say to me, I don't believe it anyway. So Look, I'm I, open minded. I want you, don't tell me you're up. No, you, 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 you promise me, you promise me, you promise me. If I show you it to you, if you, if I show it to you, you will agree and you will believe, or you are going to say, I don't believe anyway, because, I, because you are saying to me, can you prove to me, right? So if I show you reference from the if I show you if I show you reference from the Old Testament, are you willing to accept the reference, or you will say not from the Old Testament, not just from the Old Testament? I need it from the 
New Testament, and I need it from also my friend. A second ago, you said for you want you want from the Old Testament. You will never be able to find it. My you, friend, you will never be able to find you 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 are you are just copying what hijab he sought to you. There is tons of reference oh, about the Old Testament. Oh my God. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you. Do the Old Testament okay. says that God have a spirit? So wait, what did you say? Do the Old Testament says that God have a spirit? Uh, yes, God has a spirit, but right. it's not okay. different from him. It's it's a spirit. God is a spirit. It's part of him. It's, it's a spirit. No, in Islam, God, God is not a in Islam, God is not a spirit. In Islam, God is not a spirit. Who told you that? Is your God in Islam a spirit? I didn't say God is a spirit. Okay. I'm just telling you that Christians believe God is a spirit. All right. And so, in the Old Testament, it says okay, God is a spirit. Okay. In the beginning, okay. If you go to Genesis, if you go in, to, to Genesis, it says from the first chapter of Genesis, chapter one, verse number two, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. So now we have a spirit and we have God. Sure, sure, but you do know that the Genesis is full of contradictions. My it's friend, you see, you see, course. a second ago, a second ago, you said to me, "Show me where in the Old Testament it says that." Now I showed you, it's a full contra contradiction. It, 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 my okay. friend, my friend, you see, hypocrisy, hip hypocrisy, hypocrisy is the is, is the yeah. sign is a sign of a Muslim. It's a, it's your flag. It's your no, flag. I'm not being, you're being a hypocrite. You are being a hypocrite. You told me where no, in the Old Testament, where the Old Testament okay, speak about okay, the Father. Let, the, let hold on. You, you are, you. Everybody heard you when you call me to show you from the Old Testament. Now I just showed you a verse from in front of you. So suddenly, right away, you said there's contradiction. Okay, what is the contradiction? It says in the Old Testament that God does not have a spirit. Go ahead. Okay, but let me tell you something. No, don't tell I'm me something. Show me the contradiction. Genesis. Show me the contradiction for the verse okay, I showed how, you. How can you prove Genesis is a reliable? My source? friend, you, you see, I, don't call me then. Don't call me. A second ago, you said to me, show me from the Old Testament. When I start showing you, you see, guys, I know what they will do. The second I start showing them what the Old Testament, it's not reliable. So what you say to me when you call me, show me from the Old Testament. Do you remember what I said? I said, if I show you, are you going to accept? He said, I'm open minded. <laughs> I am open minded. My friend, you don't you, you are not open minded. You have an open head. Hello? Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh god, no, oh, god. How are you? You I'm just here to correct your bullshit. Are you bullshit? Saying that again? Okay, when you clean your mouth, call me. You are a filthy and your mom, she did not good job. Tell your mom to wash your mouth before you go to bed because it's full of garbage and it's a sewage. Do you see the hypocrites? Actually, a trinity is exist in the Quran, and we show it many times. Let us let us get the Abdul busted. This time I'm not going to show the verse speaking about Jesus. Yes, Hassan. Okay. Can we please have respect to No, I don't have respect to you, my friend. I don't have respect to you. Don't call me. I don't have, okay, respect. I don't have respect to No, I don't have respect to you because you are a liar. You promised me that you are an open minded. Show me from the new in the old testament. The second I start showing you, you start saying what you prepare to say before even you call me. It's full of contradiction. When I say to you, what is the contradiction? You don't want to show me. Stupidity is amazing. Don't waste my time. I want to speak to a much mature, smart people. Let us go first to this verse in the Quran. Three in one. The same verse, deny the Trinity is the same verse, confirm the Trinity. Is the Trinity is a fact of Islam? Yes, absolutely. The author of the Quran is so stupid at the point, he gave us a powerful tool to, pr to prove the Trinity from Islam, not from Christianity. This is a chapter 4, verse number 171. And let me repeat this for the 1,000th time. For the slow one, they cannot understand. O people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah, but all the truth. Jesus Christ is what? Between two brackets, no more than. No more than, this does not exist. This is the, the, the translator adding them. A messenger, so count with me. He is a messenger. 
who is a messenger Jesus that's mean he's a man that's wonderful okay and he is his word all right that's wonderful and he is a spirit proceeding from God that is a three in one you see how fast we prove Christianity to be true one person is a three he is the word he's a man he is a spirit and that's what the Bible teach and we got you busted from your Quran in less than 30 seconds Christianity teach that God came as a man God is the word and God is a spirit in the same time three in one it's in the front of your eyes unless you want to say the Quran is corrupt too how Jesus is a three in the same time how he is a man he is a word he's a spirit and why he is not four why he is a three they have no answer the same stupid verse is saying say not a trinity you believe it how stupid the Quran is say not trinity is the same verse confirmed the trinity this is how stupid the author of the Quran Jesus before he was a man what he was he was a word do you see it guys this is what John chapter 1 verse number 1 says in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God so Jesus before he was a man he was a word the word of God and he is proceeding from the Spirit of God and he came to us in the person of a man that is exactly what Trinity is three in one stupid he is amazing stupidity is amazing what I can do Do you, wanna, do, do, you, do you wanna answer about the Quran saying three is one? The Quran says do not say three in one. Yeah, but he just confirmed don't the Trinity. He just confirmed the Trinity. No, I didn't. It is I'm just saying, Quran okay. says, do not say is Jesus a three in one? Is Jesus a three in one? Yes or no? Christians believe Jesus is one of the I am three. asking you in the Quran. Quran states, is 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 Christian in the Quran? Christian is the Quran? Jesus Listen, don't shout. Is the Quran saying Jesus a three and one in the same time? Yes or no? Look, man. First of all, don't tell me look. Don't tell mean. me look. Either you say no, yes or you say no. If you say yes, explain. If you say no, explain. Go ahead. The Quran, the chapter question. four, don't chapter show. four, verse one seventy one doesn't say that Jesus is a three in one. Yes or no? Jesus is three in one. What are you talking about? Dude? The Quran, the Quran in what front of me, you? chapter four, verse one seventy one. Read it. He is a man. He is the Word. He is the Spirit. And three in one. Look in in Islam in the Quran. Don't tell me look. Muslims answer the verse. Don't tell me look. Messiah, don't tell me look. Don't tell me look. I have a verse in the front of me. You have to read the verse and explain to me. Don't tell me look. I gave you a verse in the Quran saying that Jesus, Jesus Himself, not someone else, He is a no, man. But you can't give me a verse in the Bible. You can't even. Give you see, me a verse here we go. Get, uh, go. Don't call me. Don't call me. Mm -hmm. You see, I. You see this guy. What he just did? He just denied the Quran. You cannot give me a verse. So, so he accept now that Trinity is in the Quran, but he's saying I cannot give him a verse from the Bible. <laughs> so he just admitted that it is in the Quran. Okay, you prove it to me in the Quran, but you cannot prove it to me in the Bible. The whole Bible is about this. They have a they have a lack of in intellect. They have a lack of intellect. Satanic love, ah, you remind me of satanic verses, my lady. Your prophet he received satanic verses, not satanic laugh. I wish your prophet was nothing like Satan, but he never received satanic verses. Your prophet he was possessed by the devil. This is what your book says. A prophet of God who was controlled by the devil. Islam, Allah, pick up. Where is this guy? Well, I don't, he did not call me. Call me, call me. No, don't call me, Hassan. Don't call me. I, don't, I, want, I, want, I want mature people. I want people over the age of six years old to call. Hello? 
Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. People, they can hear you. What do you want to say to us? Basically, I'm here just to show you the prayers or five five prayers are mentioned in the Quran. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just put the Quranic verse. Surah 30, verse 17. For Subhanallah, he and Tomasuna, he and to Sabihon, or do the hand of the similar right or other Ashio, where he and to the Hiron. Is that Arabic? So, are you reading Arabic for me? Yeah, yeah. where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from UK. We don't speak Arabic. This is not Arabic. What is that? For Subhanallah. For Subhanallah, he not a Muslim, he not to Okay, what does that mean? Subhanallah. So praise be to Allah when you when it's night and when you it's you wake up. So what does that mean? What, what is the prayer? Say praise be to Allah. This is not prayer. So praise to Allah. This... Praise Allah when you wake up and you want to sleep. What is where is the no, order no, 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 no. to where is the order to pray? This uh, this is the uh, tafsir. Let me ask you. No, don't tell me tafsir. Let me ask you. Oh, when you pray, when you pray to like Allah. No, I will show you the tafsir. Like... No problem. I will show you tafsir too. When you Even pray, do you say praise be to Allah only, or you have to say a certain prayer? Do you say Subhanallah? This is your prayer when you wake up in the morning. Is that your prayer? Ibn Abbas says this. My friend, I, uh, no, no, I will show you what Ibn Abbas says. No problem. Okay, when you see, when see. you wake up in the morning, is that your prayer? You say Subhanallah. Yes, it's prayer. This is not true. You don't recite. Okay, so, you don't recite Subhanallah. Uh, do you want me to get you busted? Do you want me to get you busted? When you pray in the morning, when you pray in the, the first thing you you do, you do in the morning every day. You pray five times, right? What do you say? What oh, chapter no, no. you recite? What chapter you recite? Can I just finish my? What a chapter you recite? Does it say in that a chapter? Subhanallah. This this ayah is talking about my friend. Don't don't next... answer the question. Says to me uh, this ayah. I'm asking you. When you recite the prayer in the morning, his... do you when say do you his... say Subhanallah? Do you say the sentence Subhanallah? Yes. No, you don't. What? No, you don't. Recite what? for me the prayer right now. Re recite it. Go ahead. Show me the word Subhanallah. No, no, no. This 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 is talking about the prayers. This that's my friend. This one is saying Subhanallah. When you go in the morning, say Subhanallah. No, no, is it? It's telling you. It so says exalted. that. <laughs> Abdul, you don't let no speak, it is you. It is you. It is you. Up, it is you who said to me, my friend. It is yeah. you who said to me, yeah. when you wake up in the morning, say Subhanallah. Correct? No, I never said that. I never said that. So what you said? Go ahead. Say, say again. Basically, this this ayah, the next ayah says, "Ah." Uh, so what do you say? Yeah. Say the word for me. Okay, say the word to me in English. Uh, which one? I, the, what you read, you just read for me. Exalted is Allah when you reach the evening and when you reach the morning. Okay, what the word you say? Exalted. What is the exalted? Translate to me. For Subhan. Okay, Subhan. So praise be to Allah when it's the evening. Praise to Allah. Where is the order for a prayer? I'm telling you the tafsir explains. Where, where? It doesn't say that in the verse. It doesn't say that. Ibn you Abbas, see, Ibn Abbas. my friend oh. Ibn Abbas, do you like Ibn Abbas? Okay, let me ask you a question. I have a challenge for you. No, no, see, see, you're not fair. You're not fair. No, 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 no. Let, let, let me show you. Let, let, me, let, let me ask let you. Me let me ask you. Let me ask. I challenge you. I challenge you to say I accept Ibn Abbas. Do you accept Ibn Abbas? I challenge you. I challenge you. Do you accept Ibn Abbas? Say yes. Do you accept Ibn Abbas? I do you accept Ibn Abbas? Say yes. Obviously, I do. What's wrong with Do you accept Ibn Abbas? Not everything, not everything. Ah, we choose what we like. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Come on, you know that. You my know friend, that. my Islam. friend, my friend. Yeah. The verse you chose for me have nothing to do with the prayer you pray because it says, yeah. This is this is this is this is in total. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you how stupid what you just said to me. Okay, because you, you are saying you, because you are saying you are saying those are different prayer right because this is exactly what the Quran says here read with, me, read with and, uh, me carefully read, read with me carefully read with me carefully you don't let me finish my argument so I, I, I am letting you I, I don't let Muslims get away with their with their lies this is what I I'm do. Lying. When it, Chapter Ibn eleven. Ibn it, it, that that one Ibn the tafsir the tafsir only Ibn Abbas he says that or you like the others. Ah, uh, so you know I'm not lying. Then How, why do you say I'm lying? So let, let let me get you busted. You said I was lying. You said I was lying. No, you you are lying for sure because I'm this lying. is not Ibn this Ibn is, this is, doesn't say pray. It says wasabbih. At tasbih, at tasbih, who salat. A salat is a perform as the prophet he said. At tasbih can be anything. 
you can say you can say no i will not let you finish i will get you busted ما هو التسبيح what is tasbih mean what is this what is tasbih mean tell me what tasbih what tasbih mean yeah tasbih is when you just and you know man tasbih tasbih is when you give what's it called what in this in this in this ayah in this ayah i'm asking you what the word sabah mean what's sabah mean morning so what morning in this ayah in this ayah i'm not talking about the time i'm saying what the word sabah mean you said to me sabah right yeah. What's what's a Bahami? What does it mean? What what tell me? I'm asking you. What's a yeah, Bahami? Tusbihun in this ayah means morning. My friend, I'm not asking about to no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no, talking don't, don't about sabaha, sabaha, sabaha. Abdul, I have no time for kids. Either you tell me sabaha, I'm losing my patience. What's a Bahami? No, no, no. I'm losing my patience. I came here to give my Abdul, Abdul, you are getting busted and you don't want to answer. What's a Bahami? What's a Bahami? The word there is sabaha, right? What's a Bahami? What's a Bahami? Yang up. What's up, Hamin? When I know Sabi Hobi Hamdika, let us see a translation. Chapter 2, verse number 30. Yusuf Ali. Read with me and love. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, Our creator, vengeance, etc., and the earth, they said, will be placed therein. And who will make mischief, mischief meant with the, the though with the celebrate and we praise or glorify thee? We glorify thee. This is what Sabah I mean. Is not a prayer, not a perform of a prayer, it is a glorifying God. As simple as that. This is the same exact word you quote for me. The Muslims they try to find, they try to find their prayer, but they cannot find it. No. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. I will make it simple. No, no. You, I, I don't. I, you, my, you my, control the narrative, man. My friend, my friend. Let me ask you. In chapter my eleven, in chapter narrative. eleven, verse number fourteen, is that wrong? Is that is that verse is, wrong? is that verse is that verse is wrong? Is that verse is wrong? Allah oh, said. Awesome. Allah said. You pray only three times. Do you, are you saying to me? Are you trying to convince me that Allah changed His mind? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I propose my argument? Yes, you can. But to... before you, I want you to answer me here because you are trying to prove to me that chapter, this chapter in front of me, is wrong. Is wrong. Is wrong. Is wrong. Are you saying this one is wrong? Are you saying Allah was wrong? Allah changed his mind, maybe. Hey, hey, we will get to that surah as well. No, 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 no. Start from here. Start from here. Are you trying to why, prove why? to me? Are you trying to prove I to me here that Allah is wrong? Why yes or no? Yes or no? Are you why trying to prove? Because you are trying to prove to me that there is five prayer, correct? Yes, but let okay. me prove it. Okay, hold on. I will let you go. But are you trying to prove that Allah was lying here? It's not three, it's four. He was this is a mistake. No, it's contextualized. It contextualizes what contextualized? Listen, listen, listen. He said you pray three times the end of the day and the approach of the night. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Why this, he said this, that? Why he said that? This is the I'll, only I'll verse. This is the only verse, my friend, yeah. is in order to pray. The rest are not have nothing to do with the prayer. But what is Ibn Abbas even Ibn even Ibn even the verse you gave me it's in total agreement with this one because yes, be, because no, me, because the two end of the day is exactly the same and the approach of the night this is what you gave me okay but I'm gonna let me finish this and then we can <laughs> quickly, quickly quickly yeah go go you can laugh but listen go it says here for subhanallah for subhanallah hina to musuna hina to subhoon or lul hamda fi samawati wal ardu ashim wa hina to the room Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas was asked about this mm. Uh, tafsir of this ayah is reported by Ibn Abbas. Mm. The five daily prayers are mentioned in this Quran. That's what he said. Mm. And a person asked him where. Then he said, uh, he said, so glory for Allah. Did you, did you, did you, you say, did you say a, a person says to him, where is the five prayer? No, 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 no. I'll just, I'm just, you, I'm just you, contextualizing. You just said that. He you said just said, I, I just no. heard you. I just heard, heard you saying that a person said to Ibn Abbas, where is the five prayer, correct? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm just trying to contextualize it. I'm trying to help you. But if you want the, <laughs> if you want the what's it called, where it is, I'll show you. Let me finish. Let me finish. It's easier, yeah. Okay. So glorify Allah when you come up to the evening. That, that is a uh, maghrib and isha, mm. and when you enter the morning is fajr, mm. and in the afternoon is asr, and the time when the day begins to decline is zuhr. Mm. Other mufassirun such as Al Dahak and Sa'id Ibn Jubair mm. said the same thing. Some of the mufassirun said that this ayah mentions only four of the prayers. Mm. Isha is not mentioned here. But it is mentioned in Surah Hud, mm. where Allah says, mm. and in some hours of the night, Surah Hud 11, 1, 1, 4. Mm. So we can see from this verse, mm. and when you contextualize it with Surah Hud, that the five prayers are mentioned. Where? 
Hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me show yeah, you what you just let me show you what you just said. You are saying yeah, to me that Allah He said praise so praise Allah at, and, and mm -hmm. between this and this time, right? And that is the proof of a prayer. The word of prayer is salat, right? Yeah. Okay. Is the word prayer there is appearing or a praise is no, appearing? But, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. So there's no word is a, a prayer. So where we can find in the Quran it says a pray. The one that you just said, but I'm just trying to say the tafsir. Okay, so the only okay, so you agree with me? The only place so, it says, hold so, on, hold on, hold on. You see, there's, there's, you there's something, there's there is something, there is something wrong. There's something wrong with you Muslims. Listen. You, when you want to sponsor, you, when you want to sponsor a lie, okay, you ignore yourself. Look what it says: Wa aqim is salat. Salat is yeah. not Subhanallah. Salat is salat. This is why the word there. This is why the word there is different. When you say salat, this is the prayer. Praising Allah, praising, praising Allah, praising Allah, praise Allah only, only is praising Allah. It's not a salat, it's a dua, supplication. But here, salat is a special duty. How many times? Read with me. Okay, okay. Now, I ask you, I ask you, do you accept it? Do you accept it? Do you accept it? Totally, you said no, only this one. That's mean you are a hypocrite. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying it's not hujj on me. No, no. I'm, I'm asking saying... you. Do you accept Ibn Abbas' interpretation to be the interpretation to follow? You said not in everything, correct? So is this why I said? So why Ibn you Ibn accept Abbas? only this because you are a hypocrite? Otherwise, you should accept everything he said. Okay, I don't understand you. Sometimes you use Ibn Abbas. Sometimes you use Ibn Kathir. For me, I use it to get you busted. I use it because he's stupid. I, I use it because he's a crazy. I'm not using it because I oh. uh, because I agree with him. I don't agree anything of the of Islam. I use Ibn Kathir. Oh, if, okay, if, I, if I use Ibn Kathir, that's mean I agree with Ibn Kathir. Okay, let me ask this you. Is your logic? Let no. me ask you a question about No, no, no. I'm asking you now. In the verse in the front of yeah. us, how many how many prayer your God mentioned? For Subhanallah, I ask, you see, I listen to you. You asked me, you, you made a yeah. promise. You made a promise that if I let you okay. read the whole okay. thing, you but would answer. What I said was right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The verse in the front of me, how many times Allah he said you pray? Chapter 11, verse 14. One chapter eleven verse one fourteen. Stop for a deal you could be telling me what to be like. Which one I ought? Verse one fourteen. One fourteen. Okay. How many times Allah he mentioned the prayer there? And he mentioned the word prayer, not subhanallah. Oh say it again, sorry. Say it again. What verse? For one fourteen, my friend. Surah. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a nice mouth. I mean, mouth how many times I need to say to you? Read, look, look on the screen. Look on the screen. Chapter eleven, verse one fourteen. Yeah. Chapter eleven, verse one fourteen. Okay. okay. Surah Hud. Okay. So, what do you think? What do you think? An established place at the two ends of the day. Okay. And at the approach of the night. Okay. Oh, yeah. Indeed, good day. Indeed, yeah, good is then is stop my good detail. Okay. So what's it? Okay. What does that mean? Tell me what you get. What the conclusion? How many times you pray? Uh, from this verse is three. Okay. So why Allah He mentioned it is a three if it is five as you said? No, but uh, you don't understand. Well, my 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 point was basically the Quran is a contextualized is a harmony. No, my friend. No, no. The question is very simple. Why Allah? He said here three. Shouldn't he mention five? If there are five, did Allah drop? Did Allah drop sentences? He forgot that there are five. No, no, no. no okay. No, so no. why he said a three? It's basically no. What do you mean he says three? You just it said. You just said. Three. You just said yourself. It is a three prayer. Correct. Yeah. In this verse. Okay. Yeah, in this so verse. when Allah he said a three in this verse, was it a mistake? Yeah. Because it's not a three, according to you. It says it's five. You said it's five. The, you were yeah. you were trying to prove to me in the last twenty minutes that it's five, correct? Yeah. Okay. But why here he said so? Why here he said it's three? Yes, but this is not the only verse. That's what I'm My friend, this is not not, not, not the question. The, the, this is not the question. Yeah. If there are five, why Allah he said here three? 
you don't let me answer. So basically, in this verse, so what you, what you have to do with the Quran basically is uh, bring all the verses that talk about prayer. That's not together. the question. That's not the question. Yeah. That's not the question. In, in order to believe in five of prayer, it's mean there's a contradiction because here he said you pray the to end of the day and the approach of the night. It's very simple, very clear. So it's three time and you agree upon that. So why he did not mention five? If there is more, come on. Why he did not mention the more? You see, the whole Quran, he never yeah. said the pray. The word you, you the verses you said you mentioned to me, it says sabbih. Sabbih had nothing to do with the prayer. This is the only verse says wa aqim as salat. Aqim as salat. You do carefully be honest. Be honest with yeah, me, no, my friend. No, okay. Yeah, well, salat, does it, does it say aqim as salat or I'm lying? No, it says aqim salat. I'm okay. So aqim as salat, and this is the only place it says what and how many times you pray. Aqim as salat. Establish the prayer. At what time he said he, he give us definition establish the prayer at the two end of the day and the approach of the night thank you very much he did not say in the verses there aqim salat he said praise be Allah at the morning at the day we praise Allah every day I mean if Allah is God I'll praise him every five minutes what, what's what's wrong with that a, a second ago you were praising Allah correct so does that mean you are you are establishing a prayer no this is not considered okay. A prayer okay okay good question good question when you praise Allah when you pray do you praise Allah my when, friend, when my pray. friend in Islam, a prayer is different from praising. Stop fooling yourself. Um, no, I'm not fooling myself. Okay, so Ibn then Abbas why here it says Waqim is Salat? Here it says Waqim is Salat. What Aqim is Salat mean? What Aqim is Salat mean? Aqim is Salat mean you have you have to stand in a certain way. You have to say things in a certain yeah, way. Yeah. You have to hold your hand in a certain way. Is that correct? Uh, not in the Quran. It doesn't say in the Quran. It says that Waqim is Salat. Establish the prayer. Yeah, the Islamic prayer have a certain way. You have to do ablution. You have to do certain things, correct? correct? Okay, so subhanallah, you do not need to establish a pollution. You do not need to stand. You can subhanallah, you can say that when you are driving. You can say that yes, when you yes. are now. There's this subhanallah is just saying praise be to Allah. That's all. Yes, that's how, that's how we start the salah. No, 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 no. This is not a prayer. You see, you are, you are not being honest. And now I ask you why Allah, he said he did three times. You could not answer me. You are trying to prove to me there are five because if there are five really, if there are five, no, and here no, Allah, and here Allah, he mentioned only three, that's mean Allah, he made a mistake. No, 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 no. Okay, no, maybe no, Allah, he changed his mind. What do you think? Basically, what you're doing is you're just taking maybe, one verse. Maybe Allah, I'm not taking one verse. Allah, he said it clearly, okay, you look, pray three times. Look at the one I gave you. Look at the one I My gave you. My friend, well. none, of the, none of the verses you gave me, it says a praying. It says, uh, uh, praise, be, uh, praise Allah. <laughs> Where is the word of prayer? Show me. I will apologize from you. Can you show me the word it says pray? No, it doesn't say prayer. Okay, so none of, none of the verses you gave me, it says a pray. It says a praise be to Allah. Subhanallah. Okay, okay. So the only verse is speaking about salah is this salah here. Okay, then. Okay, you, you tell me why would you say yeah? For subhanallah, let, let, me, let, me let, me let, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. That's the Quran. That's the Quran says. That's the Quran says. In the salat, ala al mu'mina kitab al maqouta. In the salat, kanat ala al mu'mina kitab al maqouta. Do you know what verse is that? Salat al kitab al maqouta. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? Translate for me. No, no, the problem is with I want to stick to this verse. We're gonna to get to everything else. No, no, answer well, me, answer me, answer me, me, me about myself. Uh, no, see, uh, uh, answer you don't me. let no one speak, you control the narrative, and well, you don't let because no one you speak. We don't, wanna, we don't want to waste our time. What is more what, what, what is more what is is more what is more what is more what is more what is what is more what is what that's what ended the call earlier as well. What is more mean? That's that's what the problem. Let me finish first. Let me finish first. So, okay, basically, what I'm trying to say to you is it. You can't just use one verse mm. from the Quran and say he established three prayers here, yeah? mm. and nowhere else can you show me the other two prayers. What does Ibn Abbas do? Ibn Abbas uses. Mm. Yes, Ibn Abbas, the Sunni is taking him as a great scholar, mm. as, we, as you all you know. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is what did he say? Mm. So, Ibn Abbas. Mm. Ibn Abbas uses for Subhanallah, he knows the Sunnah, 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 he the Sunnah, he knows the Sunnah, he knows the I ask you, knows the Sunnah, he knows the Sunnah, he the Sunnah, he knows the Sunnah, he the Sunnah, he knows the Sunnah, he knows the Sunnah, he says it clearly in different verse, chapter 4, verse 103. It says, Inna salata kanat ala al kitaban mawquta. It is a set time and he called it as salat, not to praise Allah subhanallah. 
the Quran confirmed that twice. It is salat, and only salat is accepted to be prayer. Anything else is, <laughs> is supplication. <laughs> it is dua. So stop lying <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> you Muslim trying to fight. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me let me ask you. Did, did Muhammad did Muhammad receive fifty prayer from Allah? Yes or no? I, I told you. Get did Muhammad receive fifty prayer from Allah? Yes or no? Surah four one zero three. Did Muhammad receive? Did Muhammad? Did Muhammad? Did Muhammad? Did Muhammad? Did Muhammad receive? Answer, answer. So what's your what's your uh, what's the purpose of you telling me to do this? The Quran confirmed that only consider as salat when he mentioned the word salat. Anything else is not salat. This is the confirmation. It's repeated it twice. What is what is connected with the time is salat, not to praise Allah, not Subhanallah. Salat oh, is so the only point. one is considered prayer. Anything else so is not a prayer, yeah. it's supplication. You so, can ask, it's called dua. So now I'm asking okay. you, I'm asking you. So is it a true? Is it a, is it a true? This is a story, a story, true. So you said that Muhammad he received 50 prayer, yes or no? Muhammad received 50 prayer, yes or no? You're jumping like frogs. Muhammad received 50 that. prayer or not? You asked, you asked me what means Mohuta. Mohuta. What was your purpose? I know what Mohuta. Mohuta in a certain time. It's set time, time. Set time. Set time. So yeah, Allah, so He is the position? one who set the time for you. He said Salat, and He said when Salat is in in the chapter one, in verse one, one fourteen. So He did not mention to you in any place about Salat except in those two verses. As simple as that. This is Salat. So say it again. Say it again. This say is again. Salat. This is Salat. Here, the verse, chapter four, verse one o three, it says Salat. Correct. Okay, so it's a clear salat. It's not supplication. It's not anything. It cannot be anything. So that's you have to pray in a certain time. Okay, if we go to different verse in the Quran, it says it clearly in chapter eleven, verse one fourteen, that the, he will use the word salat again. When we do salat, when we do salat, Allah explained to you. Allah explained to you. He said to you, when we do salat, we do it in the two ends of the day and the approach of the night. Correct? Yeah, that, that is da'if of us. Yes. Okay, so are you saying this verse is da'if? No, the verse not da'if. Okay, oh, I'm saying to you. Uh, okay, so now are, are Allah allowed, He mentioned to you that the prayer only is salat. He did not say anything else. If you want to go to so, Ab by Ibn Abbas, then you have to take Ibn Abbas. Do you agree with Ibn Abbas? What do you mean? What do I agree with? Ibn do you Abbas? agree with Ibn Abbas in whatever he say about the? I don't agree. No, no, no. I don't agree with the muta. Muta, the muta stuff. I don't, uh -huh. with the... We, 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 we don't worry. We're not going to talk about muta. We're not going to talk about muta, right? We will not talk about so, muta. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. We will not talk about the muta. What do you think? Or is that fine? If we go so, to Ibn Abbas to explain this verse, the verse we are reading about, the verse, the verse we are talking about, do Ibn Abbas consider what you said? Go on, go on. Show me. I show you. Which mean, I which, which, see. which mean, which mean, if we go right now and see what Ibn Abbas speak about the prayer, as long you accept only Ibn Abbas in the case of the prayer, look like Ibn Abbas is a shaitan for you when you want. He is a good man when you want. Why you don't accept okay, the muta? Yeah. So, the, so you were saying earlier as well. No, no. Uh, Jesus you you, you said Quran. you said you don't accept the muta. Is that because Ibn Abbas is a liar? No, no. no. It's, it's basically we don't think him to be infallible. That's why. Ah, so maybe he's infallible here too. How maybe, you maybe how not. you base your opinion that Ibn Abbas okay. is being infallible when you want, and he is not infallible when you want? Who are you? Because I use my intellect. I use my intellect. Where is your intellect? The Quran never says you pray in a certain time like this. The Quran says it clearly. Sabih, sabih is not a pray. I can it show you right yeah, now, my friend. You, my friend, yes, if I show you, if I show you, if I show you, if you the, oh, listen, listen, hold on. If I show you the yeah. dictionary, what the word sabah mean? Do you accept? Yeah, yeah go on, I accept it. Go on. Okay, what is the word sabah in the dictionary? Tell me. Go on, show me, show me. You said you're going to show me, and then okay. you don't show it. I will show, show you, no problem. What, what sabah mean? Show me. Okay, I'm asking you at the same time. Can you tell me until we oh, open? No, no. Until I open, I uh, until I open the dictionary. What's up, mean? In this verse, doesn't matter what verse. The word sabah. What's up, mean? Exalted. 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 What does that mean? Praising. So where is the prayer? Prayer is not a praising God. Prayer is certain oh, words so you have to say. Certain words. Twisted. Okay, here we go. This is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. This is the dictionary. Do you see the dictionary? The shaitan is you and your prophet. Do you see? Do you see the dictionary? Do you see the dictionary? Do you see the dictionary? Where is it? Where is where is the prayer? Where is the pray? Glorify, praise, or swim in Arabic. It can come as a swim. Where is where is the word pray? Certain pray in Islam. It doesn't. 
سبح الله سيليبريت الله بريزز الله جلوريفاي الله Prayer is not okay. about glorifying Allah only. It's about yes, certain yes, words. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. it is not. It's not. It is not because you have to repeat the words of Allah. It's not your words. Here you can say whatever you wish. Here you can say whatever you wish. So we don't exalt in the Allah prayer. In no, you, you exalt. Exa exa no, you are not exalting him. He is exalting himself because he is the one who said to you what to say. You are just repeating. You are like a recording machine. Is it you who said Al Fatiha or Allah? Exalting him, I'm asking you, you are not exalting him, you are repeating what he said. Don't lie. Is it he who said Al Fatiha, you or not? Obviously, he taught everything. Okay, he is the one who said Al Fatiha, so you are just repeating what he said. So he is exalting himself, he is not, he is he's appraising himself. It's not you who praise him, you are just repeating, you are just a we're recording machine. You're praising him. We're no, praising you are him. not. Same time, same time, you have to say exact same words as in the Quran, correct? Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Tasbih is not the exact word in the Quran. Tasbih, you can say whatever you wish. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar. Yeah, Allah see, Allah. now you are doing tasbih. So, this is not salat. Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> Wallahi, you become a scholar for us, <laughs> my friend. My friend, CP, you, you see, salat you see, you see, the hypocrisy of Muslims they like Ibn Abbas when they want, they don't like Ibn Abbas when they want, and this is a very clear Honestly, sign of hypocrisy. It's like, it's like, let, let me, me ask example. you, let it's me like, ask you, why you choose Ibn Abbas? Second. Why wow. you choose Ibn Abbas? Is that because only Ibn Abbas and the rest they are taking Ibn Abbas copying him? Is that why? Oh, one second. It's like you taking a Bible commentary, one of them. No, no, my friend. No, I am not taking Bible commentary. I, I don't have Ibn Abbas in my Bible. Your prophet, oh, you he named, you you're a people. prophet, you're a prophet, you're a prophet. He named Ibn Abbas as the scholar of the nation. And what you are saying to me now, that your prophet, he pick up the wrong person. Did your prophet choose Ibn Abbas to see? To, to to be the scar of Islam? Yes or no? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Look like we lost him. You see, the hypocrisy of the Muslims. I look like I have an issue in my computer too. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, my friend. Yes, my. You referred to me as a Muslim earlier. I don't care who you are. Who are you? I'm a Catholic. Yeah, well, I, I talk here to people who don't who believe in Jesus, who don't say we are Catholic or Protestant. What do you want to say? I'd like to say that I do still believe that the Holy Roman Church is the one true church of Christ. Okay, get lost. Don't call me again. You're a donkey. You have no place with Jesus. You are just a person full of hate. And you don't know Jesus. You see, I, I see my Skype. I see a call, but I don't see the call. Man, this is annoying. I don't see the call. I believe that the Catholic, our church, who believe in God, they have wrong teaching and they have correct teaching. The important is that they believe in Jesus as Savior. They believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The wrong about teaching, about their teaching, will not make them not a Christian for me. Hello? Hello. Okay. You hear me? Yeah, he, yeah, he. All right. So where we are. So okay, let me ask so you. Did, did, so did, really did, did your saying, prophet, did your prophet choose Ibn Abbas to be the scholar of the nation? Yes or no? Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm, I'm no, no, no. We don't want to move on. We don't want to move on because hey, now you, you you said something very important. Mm -hmm. Did your prophet name him as a scholar of the nation? Yes or no? The scholar of the ummah. Yes. Okay. Then how you say to me, Ibn Abbas? I don't accept him when I want, and I accept him when I want. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ibn Abbas is a human being. We don't. Uh, Muhammad is a human being too. Is he God? No, he's not human. Okay. Being. He's when Muhammad, when Muhammad, he chose Ibn Abbas, he made a mistake. No, Muhammad is infallible. Okay, that's the difference. Oh, infallible. Are you sure? Mm. So, so yeah. okay. Let me ask you then. 
why the why the Muslim they say that Muhammad was possessed by the devil? Oh, come on. What what come what on? Do you mean possess the the the, 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 Mus the Muslim before you who one who called me, he said that everybody heard him. If we go to the hadith right now, you will see that Muhammad was possessed. I'm so, talking about in the Quran. In the Quran, in the Quran, he only asks what? he only asks for forgiveness. He only asks for forgiveness once, and that's for a mistake. Not Wh where, 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 where in the Quran ask for forgiveness once? Where is that? The Quran, Muhammad asks for forgiveness. My friend, my friend, you do not know your Quran. The Quran keep asking Muhammad to ask for forgiveness. Are you saying to me that Muhammad? Why? 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 why, hold, why, why on, hold, on, hold 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 on. Why? Why would he ask for forgiveness? Why? Uh, answer Tell the question. Me. Because he's a pagan. See. <laughs> How is he a pagan when he worships the creator? Well, he worships a creator, but he kisses stones. He says to us, worship the God of Abraham. So how, is he a how you worship the God of Abraham, but you kiss the stone of the devil? I don't. You, he did. Are you saying He's you are better than your prophet? Uh, okay, let's let's define pagan. I'm asking let's you, define. are you are you saying you are better than your prophet? Because you said you said I don't. Your prophet, he no. did. So are you saying no. you are better than him? Okay, let's so let's let's define pagan. The word pagan means a person. No, no, no. Used... I don't change the topic. Your prophet he kissed the oh, stone. He your prophet yeah. he he kissed the stone. You said you don't. Are you saying you are more smart than your prophet? No, no, no. So no. why why you don't? He did. Oh, because that that stone itself came from Jannah. So why you do? Why you don't? You said I don't. You told me I don't. Yeah. Why you don't do it then? Because you can break that stone in what you, you can break that stone. I do not what Just, you, that stone holds no value, it is not it's not something so why your prophet that, kiss it no, if it has no value, why your prophet kiss it? Because it came from heaven, it's like you but you just told me you see you are contradicting yourself, you are saying to me it has no value, and now you are saying to me because it came from heaven, your prophet kiss it. So that's mean it's have a value. Oh, it has a no no no. What I'm trying to do is here. You said paganism. Paganism is okay. something that has value. Okay, yes. if 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 Allah He sent a donkey from heaven, are you Muslims going to kiss it, and your prophet will kiss it too? Answer me. To say, if Allah He sent a donkey from heaven, are you going to kiss it, and your prophet will kiss it? It's oh, a stone. The, it's a what? stone. It's a stone. It's a stone. Yeah. Okay. Why you? Why problem? your prophet kiss it? For what are you asking me? Why the prophet kissed it? Yes. Why he kiss it? Why he kiss it? If he is not a pagan man, why he kiss it? Very simple. And why you Muslims today you kiss it too? What the point? Uh, what Muhammad? What Muhammad established by doing that? But you just have to let me speak as well. You have um, to let. You no have problem. To dialogue. Why? He, why he kiss it? Go can't ahead. Why he kiss it? And why? Because why it's not pagan for you? That's okay. Okay. Before we move on, we have to define the word pagan. Mm. What pagan? Is that okay? What pagan? Go ahead. Let's define it. Okay. Okay. We both have to agree on a definition of the word mm. pagan. Yeah. Okay. A oh, pagan is a person holding religious beliefs other than those of the main world religions. Do you accept mm. that? Okay. Do you accept that? I'm listening. So Go ahead. No, no, I'm just saying. Do you accept that definition? As I, a ac definition I of accept nothing of what you're saying. Why? Because paganism have nothing to do with worshiping yeah. certain things. It have to do with worshiping false gods. No, no. Check definition. English definition. My friend, I don't care for. Uh, uh, you see, you, even your even your prophet, he gave us definition. Are, are you saying your Quran is stupid? Because the Quran says in chapter six, oh, verse wow. number seventy four, that paganism yeah. is worshiping yeah. idols. This is what your Quran says. Say that again. The Quran says that paganism is worshiping idols. I don't worship idol. I worship the well, creator. You are giving me dif different definition from the Quran. So what? What's wrong with you? So the Quran says, if you worship idols, you are lost. Correct? No one's no. Sorry, no one worships the idol. Okay, Muhammad Mistake. he kisses a stone. If the stone is not an idol, what is an idol then? That's not. It's like you kissing your mother. That doesn't doesn't mean my you my it. mother is not a stone. It's she is my mother. She gave me birth. Do do, do you yes, Muslim believe? Said. Do you Muslim believe that the stone gave birth to you? No, if you kiss someone, doesn't mean you worship them. Why he what kiss kind of it? It's a stone. It's a stone. Not. It's not someone. It's not someone. It's not someone. It's not a person. Are you saying the stone is a person? It came from Jannah. My friend. So what if it came from the Jannah? What does that mean? You you mean from the space? Every day we have fallen space, fallen falling rocks from the space. You are going to worship them and kiss them? Let me ask you: Is the stone holy? Stone, uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. So why he kiss it? Are you saying it's dirty? No, it's from heaven. Are you are you, are you crazy? Okay, listen, listen. Why the stone became a black according to your prophet? 
because of the sins. Thank you very much. So this is a living stone. No, 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 no. So how the stone became black? It was white. Miracle of Allah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Explain to me. You said that sin made the black stone black. It was white. You're not actually making sense. You're just making stupid arguments. You see, you, you, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna change the topic, right? Why, topics, why the black stone? Why the black stone became? Mind, why your black stone became black? It was white. What happened? Explain to us. You said it's sin. How this happened? It's a stone. Are you saying to me this is stone changed the color? And sin changed uh, it. How is that? Is that because? Is that, be, is that? Be, you, is that? Is that? Is that because the stone suck your sin? You know, is you're playing a game. You heard my answer. You want is, to repeat it? Is that try to make it? Is dramatic. that? Is that because? Is that because? Actually, my friend, that. answer. It's not, it's not, is that I'm because not. the stones suck your sin? Yes or no? You heard my answer. Because the sins of mankind that the stone, the stone. Became okay. Black. How the sin? How the sin of mankind arrived at the stone? What happened? This is this, this is the doing of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It's the Creator we're speaking about. Here. We're not speaking what about the Creator? Are you saying the stone is your Creator? What does stone have to do with the Creator? How the stone? How the stone was white and became a black because of your sin. Let How my you. sin arrived to the stone. Let me tell you. to me. Listen. Mm. Do you like it? Do you like hearing your own voice? Let me finish. The stone came from heaven, so it's pure. Yes. Anything from heaven is pure. What the pure mean? What do you mean by pure? The, the, you, you mean pure. the pure did not commit sin? Are you saying the pure the, the, the black stone did not commit sin? I said the stone, the, anything that comes from heaven is pure. Pure. It's what like, do you mean by pure? Did not commit sin? What pure mean? Pure means like it's just it's, it, you know what I mean, man. No, I do not know what you no. mean. How the, how the stone can be pure? It's a stone. So a stone in heaven is not pure. So anything like a tree my friend, in heaven is my not pure. My friend, what are you talking about? In the heaven of Allah, there is women, they have vagina. Is that vagina pure? Or are you telling me it's impure? Will you tell me is the vagina of the Muslim women in heaven is a pure? She will be in heaven. Listen, uh, this 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 is a fake argument. I don't even I don't even kiss the stones. So I don't know. My friend, I don't care if you kiss it or not. You said your prophet he kissed it. And look, let me show you what what your prophet said. And this is a correct hadith that if you touch oh, the see, if you touch the stone if you touch you question. if you touch the stone to if you touch the stone you are a pagan person. If you touch the stone, Allah will erase your sin. Is that correct? The stone will erase your no, no, sin. No, no, Read no. with me. Read with me. You're, you're a pagan person. Read with me. You are, you are the oh, pagan. Oh, oh, you are the oh, pagan. We worship one God. You don't have one God. You don't have God at all. You kiss stones, you kiss stones, and you believe you believe that the Kaaba is going to erase your sin. Read carefully with me. Your prophet saying that about Abdul Rahman. Why do I only see you touching those two rock corners? What corners is talking about? The Yemeni corner and the black stone. He said, I heard the message of Allah say, touching them erase our sin. Okay. How touching stone okay. will erase your sin? Explain to us. You said I'm a pagan, but I'm saying you're a pagan. Answer, as well. answer, pagan. answer. Let us see who's the pagan. Answer, pagan. answer, answer. We don't believe if we touch stones, it's going to erase our sin. You worship three gods. We don't worship three gods. Don't change the topic. Explain we worship to one. We Explain worship one. Explain it to me. You see, are changing the topic because you are now getting busted. You worship no, a I'm stone and you are a pagan a person. I came here to ask you a question. My God, my God, you, who is the three God we worship? Tell me. And the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. One God, I mean. Thank you very much. How? How? The same as we showed you in the chapter 4, verse 171 in, in, the, in the Quran. Jesus is the word, Jesus is a spirit, and Jesus is the man. Three Amen. in one. How? Amen. Explain to me. Explain to me how the Quran says that Jesus is three, but he's one. How? You just said how? Huh? Okay, he's losing his connection. How? How Jesus is three in one? You tell me. Your Quran says that. Hypocrites. If you are not a pagan, how you explain to me that you know the touching stones will erase your sin? Yes, my friend. I want you to yeah, explain yeah. to me. Is this what you do? Yes, this is what I do. You like it or you don't? So you, you you're good at the Quran. I know you are. You're good at the Quran, but mm -hmm. when it comes to the Bible, you can't defend it. Well, I showed you from the Bible, you said it's corrupt anyway. You see, you are the coward. Aren't you the no, one? Aren't, aren't you the one I showed you? Just you shut up, shut up. Anyone, I can search in two seconds, even if I am not a scholar in the Bible, even if I know nothing about the Bible, I can type now two words. Trinity in the Bible, I will find tons of verses. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. You said to me in the beginning, show me from the Old Testament. I start showing you. You made fun of me. I said, this is corrupt. This book is full of contradiction. From the first verse in the Bible, you speak about God and the Spirit of God. And then God in the Old Testament, he came to Abraham as a man. Is that correct, Christians? Christians, is that true? 
that God he came in the Old Testament to Abraham as a man is that a true so God came as a man don't call me don't call me I have no time for kids did your dad call me Jesus said before Abraham I am and Abraham he witnessed my day did Jesus say that speaking about what speaking about the Old Testament that God he came to him as a man Abraham he saw my day the Jews they said to him how how Abraham how Abraham don't call me kids I'm done with you for today don't call me that's it how Abraham he saw your day and you are not even 50 years old <laughs> For Jesus to say that either he is God or he is a crazy person. Correct? So the Old Testament confirm that God came as a man, confirm that God has a spirit, confirm that God the Father, the Creator, is exist. And then Jesus he said, Before Abraham, I am. And the wisdom they say, they say to you, where Jesus said, I'm God. They do not know those idiots that the name of God in the Bible is I am. You see the stupid Muslims? They say to you, I eat you, brother Thutter, to show me where Jesus says I'm God. Every time Jesus says I am, he is saying I am God. Because this is the name of our God in the Bible, Abdul. Our God in the Bible, his name is I am. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the resurrection. I am the truth. I am the light. A prophet of God, he can say that? How he can say that? And this is why the Jews crucified him. Stupid Abdul. They did not crucify him because he was saying, I am prophet. You see? If you go to Exodus, when Moses asked God, who are you? Who are you? What I will say to my people? What I will tell them? He said to them, say, I am that I am. That is the name of my God, which means he, the way he presents himself, he did not give himself a name because there's no name can contain him. No name can describe his glory. So when a stupid Muslim, he says to us, show me where Jesus says, I am God, all the Bible is about Jesus saying, I am God. All the Bible, I am. I am who I am. Yet they say to you, show me. I challenge you. I challenge you. Where he says that? <laughs> Where he said that? Right? Where he said that? Do you know where he said that? All over the Bible. He keeps saying, I am. Do you have a problem with that? Obviously you do. It's hurting your feeling. And the Quran confirmed that left and right. They challenge you to show us, and when you start showing them, they say, oh, uh, we don't believe in this. We don't believe in that. You know, when Jesus came to the Jews and he said to them, what do you say? What do you say of David? Oh, sorry, of Christ. The Jews, they said, he is the son of David. So Jesus said, well, if he is the son of David, then how David call him God? He gave, he called him Lord. Who? David, he called him Lord? Where? In the Old Testament. Who is the one talking there? This is not Luke or Matthew or Mark or no, this is Jesus himself speaking. He was debating the Jews, showing them that they are wrong. They are calling the Messiah, the son of David. Yes, by birth, he will be the son of David. That's true. By birth. By the flesh. But he is not the son of David because Jesus Christ is not the son of any man. So by the flesh, he is the son of David. Jesus is correcting them. I am the God of David. 
he said to them so why David he called him my Lord how he called him my Lord in his spirit who is the Messiah they said he is the son of David he said then how David called him my Lord all right uh, anyway guys we have enough for today my voice is really getting tired and it's really here it's middle of the night already so I want to apologize from you I'm not going to sleep actually I'm going to work and you know little do time do some work but I hope today we have a good time together and we explain some issues and we show the Muslims that Islam really is a stupid religion and cannot stand for itself when we when we question them anything anything you try to fabricate as you see this guy suddenly Ibn Abbas is the one they take his opinion when they want but you don't like Ibn Abbas believing in the Muta. As simple as that. Ibn Buta, you know, Abbas is a good person when they want. Ibn Abbas is not a good person when they want. When we say where the where the Quran speak about salat, they start saying to me, it says, Subhanallah there, but this is not salat. The word salah in Arabic is the only one considered as a prayer. Anything else is supplication of dua. Dua, which means you ask God for anything you want. You say to him, Praise be to Allah. That's it. That have nothing to do with certain prayer. You can do it when you are driving. You can do it when you are sitting. You can do it before you eat. You can do it anytime you want. Salat is something, and Subhanallah or to to to, to praise God is something else. Salat in Islam is certain words. You cannot. This is not the same as a Christianity. In Christianity, we can pray anytime we want. Before I eat, I pray. After I finish my food, I pray. I pray, I pray in my heart, even by by my, by, by myself. I don't show to any people because Jesus he said when you pray go to your closet and don't show your praying it's something private between you and the Lord otherwise you are a hypocrite even if I am alone I don't hear myself praying so in Christianity you can call that a prayer because you do not have certain words to say not necessarily even though the, the, the Lord he said when they said to him how we pray he said our father out of heaven to the end but in Islam you have to do establish certain things That's what the Quran says you have to establish salah which means you have to do evolution you have to stand in rank you have to do certain things you have to move your hands in a certain way you have to start with certain certain words not by saying subhanallah subhanallah is not the prayer the prayer is al-fatiha Thank you guys for being here. I hope today we have a good time. I will try tomorrow. I hope my voice will still be functioning. <laughs> As you see, I'm losing my voice. Uh, if my voice is still working tomorrow, uh, then we will do broadcast tomorrow. Let us hope we can do so. Until I see you tomorrow, may the Lord bless you all. Until then, Christ is Lord, and Islam is nothing but a big pagan fat religion. Worshipping, kissing stones, going around the stones, bowing down in front of a stone, praying in direction of a stone. Islam, all of it is based on stones. If we take the Kaaba, where Muslim will pray, which direction they will pray, what what stone they will kiss. Have you ever heard of a stone is a pure? It's a stone. Even Al Qurmuti, he took it and he used it as a bathroom stone for more than twenty one years. He destroyed the Kaaba. He took the stone. He pissed on it. You say to me it's a pure stone what a cult thank you and may the lord bless you all thank you